Nope. Welcome to Zero Page <laughs> Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. And we're going to prove that tonight yet again with an exclusive world premiere mm. of Bob DeCrescenzo's new game, Kilo Parsec. Woo. And it's not just a new game, it is something special because it's a new game that's going to be going into a BIOS chip. Okay that gets put into the 7800 inside of it. But we'll get to more of that later. Okay. Uh, That's exciting. Made in conjunction with Revenge. Nice. Um, we're also going to be playing Cosmic Canyon by Karyu Yojimbo, uh, Words Game, and uh, two Dragon Defenses. Dragon Defense and Dragon Defense 2021. The other one was tw from 2015. Um, so, yeah, uh, Nostalgic has uh, one of his cats and a drink. And Excellent. I have my drink. Ready drink yeah i have a drink yep. we're fully into summer now that it's uh the 21st oh, it is of hot. june 22nd of june Whew. one day after yeah it is hot for here and i'll explain why it's that hot. is it's yeah. hot for here because here we don't have air conditioning because it doesn't get hot but when it gets hot <laughs> it, it gets, gets hot. really hot yes because we can't do anything about it Mm. Because it normally only gets up to low to mid 20s usually all the heat down south is now coming up north. So yeah, you see those weather maps? Yeah. And it's it's arrows like, pointing from <laughs> circling upwards, the wildfires so. of California uh, yeah. up to Vancouver, yeah. Canada. It's all it's all funneling uh, straight north right now. Stop doing the gender reveals, people. <laughs> uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers that support the show yeah. down the left. 8-Bit mm -hmm. uh, Swami, Alan the Fur, Arcade Fever, 80s, Arms Car Coder, Atari Age, Buck Owens, Cafe Man 2D, Canadian Tender Catalog, Charles Whelan, Coconut, Dianoid, Dan, if you see Drexel, Fat Beavis, Grey Defender, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Ojo Rapper, Jedikaya, Jedi Kaya, Jedi Kaya, uh, Johnny WC1, Urado, Carl G, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mike Soul, Soul, uh, Mike Soul, MK Smith, Mr. Zarna Whoop, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Pack Rat VG, Kohog 2600, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless VG, Smitty B, Socrates, Spartan, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The Welshman, Tiki Dan K, Toga Mario and Trek MD and um, S. Ramirez just resubscribed Excellent. at the beginning of Yay. the show just before we went on 25 nice. months. Wow. He's been subscribing awesome. for. Awesome. Thank you, S. Ramirez. So amazing. <laughs> yes, we are, or I am, sporting a VHZC yes, shirt. Yes, I don't have my VHZC one on today. Yeah, next time. Next time. So yeah. this has a 2600, a 2600, a 7800, <laughs> yeah. a uh, 7800 and a 5200. Nice. So it's got the range covering, of consoles. You're covering the you know. Atari range. Have you played today? Yes, every day. Because <laughs> I test games offline. So. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Um, and if you want to support the show and get your name there uh, as well, um, you can subscribe. And if you can't subscribe, follow so you know that we're going to be on the air. And check out all our social media because I post there from time to time. There we go. Yay, Miss Command. Miss Command. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. 11 months. That's awesome. Excellent. Um, so we've got some mail news and feedback. We have no mail, but we have news. Uh, Al from Atari Age has uh, updated because uh, he's people keeping people up to date on the new shipments. Oh, so yes. Everybody's like, I want to play the games. Where's my games? Where's my <laughs> games? And they're, uh, they have pitchforks and torches outside of his house, so mm -hmm. he has to keep them calm by keeping on posting these <laughs> updates. Um, yeah, that's so, what you do. Uh, this is his latest update. Time for another update. A bit late. This was um, today, uh, five hours ago. Uh, first, I have all the pre order 2600, 5200, 7800 games tested and labeled. Nice. I have roughly 25 more Atari 8 bit games to make, some pre order, some older, about 40 Jaguar games to build, and we'll be working on those later today. The 8 bit games will definitely finish today. The mm. Jaguar EPROMs have been programmed, solder those today. Second, all the boxes have been glued and assembled. Mm. Now they're just waiting for assembly of, of the games and manuals into the boxes. We'll be working on that tomorrow. Should go pretty, quick, pretty quickly now. Uh, the, the boxes are finished. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. It's going to take us. Uh, need to spend some more time tomorrow, uh, etc., etc. So here's uh, the um, drawers full of games uh, that have been labeled now. Mm -hmm. Look at them all. Look at all those dragons, cash, the end, uh, avalanche, Miss Galactopus. Oh, nice. Ninjish guy. Look at all those games. Tower of Rubble. Yeah, very Hugo nice. Hugo Hunt. 
cannon head clash is that one yeah ninja more ninja guy nice uh venture very popular mm -hmm. zookeeper extremely popular looks so and, nice lined up like oh, that does. too everything and facing the same way deep stone catacomb i'm very happy look at how many people look order deep that. stone catacomb yeah it's such a great game yeah uh these represent just half the drawers with <laughs> finished games in them so it's not include any of the extra games wow. uh for these orders probably another 200 or so cards mm. wow and there are uh, all the glued and folded boxes. So if you ever wanted to do some stats on orders <laughs> and count these ridges, <laughs> you know exactly how many orders Al gets and uh, relative numbers according to each game. Um, so there's some interesting things. Um, so they're coming. Uh, that's all for now. Time to solder some eight Atari 8-bit boards. Um, Yes. Well, holy wow. Al is a beast. He is. Yes. He's doing this all, all <laughs> on his own. Work. It's uh, all just in his free time, right? crazy. So yeah. I like S. Ramirez says, I see my copy of the end. Oh, is it, <laughs> is it that one right yeah, there? Yeah, right there. Yeah. That one. In the middle? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Ground Trooper. Thank you for subscribing, Ground Trooper. Mm. Um, we need double-ended Uniwars and Galaxian. Oh, that would be very cool. Yeah, someone needs... But you'd have to make a new cart, or you'd have to destroy some relatively expensive double enders onox carts mm. is that how you say it x-o-n-o-x zonox zonox x-o-n-o-x yeah probably zonox uh, that sounds about right yep yeah so uh not only is uh bob uh pac-man plus making uh this new game kill a parsec he is also uh, making a new case for 7800s mm. um, because I've read they're fairly oh, nice. brittle. Yeah. Um, this is version one of his case. Very cool. Very oh, boxy. Oh, look at that. And this is version two, which oh. is really nice. It with has the yellow stripe. It on has it. a little bit of the um, oh, what do I want to say? Like power tool flair to it with mm. black and yellow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like like it could be it could be. Um, um dewalt dewalt brand that's what it is yeah, yeah i like that i like that yeah so it's coming along and the big uh the cool thing about this is for modders mm. it's got an interchangeable back panel so if you upgrade it to s video or nice. composite or component mm. or rgb you can uh swap that out mm -hmm. um and it's got nice big labeled buttons there and it's it's really really clean yeah really nice so great job on mm -hmm. that um so what he says been working on this for a while uh this case is smaller fits with or without rf shielding uh and the board sits flat meaning the atari vox will now fit without need of an adapter cable i i'm a little ew, about uh, plugging something directly into the back of the 2600 to 7800 just kind of hanging there mm. unless you put something underneath it to support it otherwise it's just kind of sagging it and sags, holding there. Yeah. Uh, but I, I know some people do it. I, I have uh, extenders on all the ports on the 7800 and the 2600 because we we're far from it and I have to extend things out. Uh, I just want to say crossbow referenced yeah. wanting a purple one for to match his purple dragonfly oh. cart. Well, if they're being printed, you can make them in any I color. like that. I like that idea. Match yes. the, the dragonfly to either the detail or the entire plastic, like the green one. Make it yep. all purple. The detail would be nice, oh, actually. Like yeah. The stripe. Just the stripe. Black, and then you can choose which stripe. Yeah. And maybe he's going to be, I don't know if he's going to be uh, opening this up so you can download the STL files. Is that what it is? So people can make their own. Oh, I see. So they can they can um, yeah. 3D print it or something. Because usually people make the nice. cases, then they put up the files, and then there's hundreds of places that you can send it off to and they'll ship it to you. And what you would do is you'd get it locally. you get it mm. done locally. And then um, the shipping isn't very much. Uh, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> well, yeah, we want to report on news, and this is pretty cool news. It is pretty cool. I mean, cool. that's a beautiful, beautiful case. I like that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like um, that. So, oh, yeah, that's the idea. Perfect. Mm. Yeah, so that, that makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. to uh, open it up and just let people print it wherever they want. Because mm. I'm sure Bob is not wanting to get into the hardware side of things <laughs> and selling stacks of cases. Yeah, yeah. why not 3D know. print? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's in it for the glory, now I not want, the money. Now I want a 3D printer. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they're super cool. Yeah, and super everybody's cool. figuring out like what the buttons are going to look like. Oh, there's a nice printer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that uh, is Double nice Down printer. has that printer. 
It's nice and it's got a bunch of different filaments mm. at the bottom. Uh, I think there is some discussion about the logos somewhere. Mm. I don't know if I can find them quickly, but they're on the next page, maybe. I'll post the STL file when it's done. Yes. Awesome. Oh, there's some. Now so. I need a friend with a 3D printer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's lots of people online to make friends with. Yeah. With 3D printers. <laughs> uh, so there's like power, pause, um, reset, and select. Mm. So that's a proposed uh, Pac-Man Plus propose these these are very clean very nice mm. um so you can put them right on the buttons themselves rather than having text or you can have both mm. yep there aren't many changes needed is there bob just moving the side vents down towards uh the more to the front yeah you, there was some discussion about where the vents are gotcha and also keeping it uh cool i think some mm. some cooling as well uh, definitely needed right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's very hot oh. here and very hot throughout the U.S. Yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there. Added vents to the left and right sides. Added a back changeable uh, plate. Mm. So there's the back changeable plate right there. Uh, very, very cool. So that's the news. Uh, so what we've got today mm. is not a normal game. I mean, it is a game, but it's not going to be put in a cartridge. Okay. What mm. it's going to be put on is a chip uh, that goes inside the 7800. What this chip does is it looks to this chip when you boot up the 7800. And it identifies whether it's an NTSC, whether it's a PAL, um, whether the cartridge you have in the slot is a 2600 or 7800. And it makes decisions from there. Okay. Uh, on the PAL versions of the 7800, they had a game built in. They had asteroids built into Just the console. Just built right into the console. Oh, on the yeah. NTSC version, there was nothing built in. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what they're, what uh, Bob and Revenge is looking to do, uh, Mark Sarna, mm -hmm. is to replace this chip mm. with some upgrades mm. to fix some issues and also put a game on it for everyone. NTSC and PAL people. And what the game is, is Kiloparsec. And that's what we're going to take a look at tonight. Cool. Uh, and Crossbow says, NTSC also has the encryption check that the PAL units don't. Oh, Interesting. Okay. So I'm guessing the PAL carts didn't have encryption, but the NTSC C ones did. did. So I wonder why you, that would be. Uh, it's, it's very similar to uh, NES and Famicom. Famicom didn't have any uh, checks to make sure it was a legitimate cartridge. But Famicom came up first. Yes, and they went, oh my god, piracy. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then they put the piracy anti-piracy check, anti -piracy yeah. check on the NTSC but version. But would the NTSC version have come out first before the PAL? Or vice versa? For the, the PAL before the NTSC? I, I'm thinking... The, the PAL came the, out first. No, I think it's the NTSC one. Mm, that's kind of weird then. No encryption check in the BIOS. Sorry, I, I know I'm interrupting. Oh, How is, is that so... soda? Is it good? That's fine. I've okay. had it before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, South Yaritos. Americans really like Yaritos. 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 Yeah. Pineapple soda. Sorry, I, I, I actually I want to try some before you finish it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Sorry, I, talk I anyway. apologize. Yeah. So this is an 8K game, mm. which is a very mm. small game for a 7800. Good stuff. Like I don't know what is the smallest game. Uh, retail game for the 7800. I think it's they're all bigger than 8K. I think they're all 16 or more. Pretty sure Atari always released the NTSC version first, didn't they? Crossbow says probably. No encryption check in this BIOS. So why do you need an encrypt? Oh, so if there's no encryption check, it just forgoes it and plays the game no matter what. No matter what. Okay. Right. So it ignores if there is encryption on the cartridge. It's like just play it. It's uh. fine. Okay. Hmm. Um. So the journey to this game started with uh, Trebor. Let me uh, see if I have this up. Don't think I do. Uh, Trebor po posting a great utility on March 21st uh, that was made by Revenge, I believe, uh, for testing out CRTs for a uh, screen safe area. Um, screen safe area is used for CRTs because CRTs don't show everything. It's not like modern televisions, LCDs, where it's like 1920 by 1080 for HD. 
and you see every pixel. CRTs had like rounded corners and every CRT had like different sized rounded corners as well. Um, so you had to be kind of careful like this. I, I know about this because I, I worked with video for a while and back to CRT era. Um, so you had to put titles above so it didn't get obscured in the lower half, like titles, lower thirds, um, channel bugs, you know, mm. those little, mm -hmm. like channel nine, and, and they have this little thing in the little corner. Thing. Like you couldn't have it so far down, over scan, sure. <laughs> yeah, over scan. <laughs> yeah, over that scan. Yeah. Um, so you had to make sure everything was in there. So it, if it, it said, yeah. you know, you know, John Smith reporting mm. um, on the lower lower thirds title, mm. it had to be up enough mm. and over enough too that you could see everything. Mm. Anyway, so a program was made by Revenge um, called the Non-Interactive -inter Title Screen. Um, so we're going to take a look at that right now. Uh, I mean, it's not much to it. It just, it's a static screen. Uh, if it loaded up, there we go. There we go. So you can see it there. Danger zone. So you want to definitely stay out of the red. You can maybe go into the yellow, um, but you definitely mm. want, if you're in the blue, you're all good. So people would put this on their use this program in conjunction with their 7800s and put it on their CRTs and they would be able to adjust things okay. so they could adjust things so it all fits or program their games so they know that they're not going to cut they're off they're always going to be okay cut off the score yeah. or something like that mm. I mean on uh, LCDs it's going to be totally fine yeah, yeah yeah LCDs show everything right everything yeah. including like if you've ever played an, an NES yeah. on uh, LCD there's a bunch of garbage at the bottom. Yeah. Um, and it's, I think it's like loading up extra um, uh, tiles. Gotcha. Um, and also there's like this juddering thing on the left or right as well. Yeah. And you wouldn't see that on a CRT. Gotcha. So they, they put that in there. So it's there. Yeah. So you wouldn't, yeah. yeah. Can you get rid of that? Oh, sorry. I don't know what that's going on. That's just the settings there. that I sent. Genesis games have the uh, CRAM dots in the lower left. Oh, oh. Sorry, just making sure it's the bottom. Uh, I don't know why it's being bad. Sorry. There, leave it. Uh, below the screen, uh, game screen that you can see as well. So some of the mm. earlier consoles, you could see garbage all over the screen. Mm. Uh, same with uh, VHS tapes. You can see like oh yeah weird signals yeah. as well yeah. in the lower lower portion. Yeah, of I know it. what you're talking about with those. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he also posted a non interact uh, non interactive title screen as well for the 7800 and it was really really cool so let's take a look at that oh i know this seems like it has nothing to do with, <laughs> with the game but it, believe me it does um so very, very nice title screen. The original one is just kind of a static screen uh, when it loads games. And then Bob posted, after this was posted, Bob posted, he said, I'd love to have that title screen in BIOS instead mm. of the standard 7800 boot screen. Oh, yeah. So it's like this nice oh, scrolling Oh, look thing. at those scrolling colors. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so that conversation evolved in, uh, on March 26th into Bob talking about creating a new PAL slash NTSC BIOS wow. and how much room there is for a new game to put it in, put in there. Uh, and then Revenge posted there would be enough room to fit an 8K game to fit into the new 16K BIOS because this takes up 16, uh, 8K. Mm. And if you have a 16K, you would have 8K left over. Mm. Um, so he said, 16K looks to be the PAL BIOS size, so the game would have to be smaller if we're aiming for compatibility. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, the Fuji, which is the left thing, mm -hmm. and the Atari 7800 graphic take up most of the 2x4K graphic blocks. I can skip Holy DMA 
and put them consecutively in memory, but uh, I, th I think 8K for the game might be a bit better. Hmm. On then April 11th, Bob posted after his developer spotlight, after we had him on the show. So for those of you who watched it, uh, now know what Revenge, Trebor, and I are working on. The non-interactive title screen as a BIOS with a small non-cart game. A couple of things. It hasn't been released yet, although we have figured out why the ARM 2600 games wouldn't originally play. We're still working through issues with the uh, uh, Cuddle Cart 2 showing up with a corrupt menu about half the time. So they're also working on enhancements to the BIOS as well, so things are more compatible with the 7800 BIOS. Um, I will be making a small 8K exclusive game to this BIOS when there's no cart inserted. So if you don't have a cartridge in, you still have a game to this play. game will play. Very cool. And it's great for testing, I nice. guess, to make sure your uh, 7800 works. And he says, I have a third point, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> um, and then on April 26th, uh, the Cuddle Cart 2 compatibility issues were solved. Uh, he said, Revenge and I got the BIOS working with the Cuddle Cart 2, Dragonfly, Concerto, and Harmony and a bunch of 2600 games that I tested, including the ARM games. We need to do more testing as I have a no non-multi 7800 carts other than for the games I've done, but I'm going to continue working on my built-in game now. So on June 15th, Bob posted some screenshots of his new game and announced the new game as Kilo Parsec. Um, he said, here's a sneak peek at some screenshots of the game that plays when there's no cartridge inserted. I'm now at the point where I've run out of room to fit a few more features in, but I'm working on it. Mm. Please remember that this will be an 8K game, so it won't be as involved as some other ones. Hope this one turns out okay. He's always very, very cautious about his games, <laughs> and he has no reason to ever be, but it's it's good. It's good to be cautious and it's not to be like cautious tuning and, your own horn and a little about bit how humble awesome you are. Because sometimes things do go south, right? So, they do. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I understand. So, it's good to... Uh, Lower people's expectations yeah. and then blow them away. Hmm. Um, I hope this one turns out okay. I will give it to Zero Page Homebrew to review once it's finished. Today is happening. Uh, it will be exclusive only to this BIOS. So he doesn't have plans to put it on a cartridge. It's just for the BIOS. Um, so this is actually a port of a game. Uh, it's a port from a computer, in fact, a Texas Instruments, a TI-99. Mm. So we're going to take a look at what the original game looks like um, for uh, this. And it was called Parsec, not, not Kilo Parsec. Uh, one of the lights isn't working if it's dimmer today for everyone. Is, did someone say, oh, yeah, no, no one said anything. No, but, nobody yeah. cares. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it, it, this is what happens. You, you, you know, it's hot, you keep all the lights off, and then you try to turn them on at the last minute, and one of them just doesn't turn on. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's the same one I've been having trouble with. Yeah. But uh, it's fine today because... It's hot in here anyway, so it's fewer lights is not a terrible, uh, not a terrible thing. So, yeah. What the hell? Did I not? Oh no. Okay. Mm. Would it be possible to add a BIOS chip that would boot games off an SD card? Mm. Oh. That's an interesting thought. Is there? <laughs> uh, hmm. I'll leave that to it's the hardware people. Interesting. Yeah, exactly. It sounds it's like an interesting thought, though. You're recreating the, the one of dragon these cards fly in the in just a BIOS inside the console. Hey, itself. if you're creating a new BIOS, <laughs> I don't know. There's I probably, assume I assume there's limitless it. possibilities, even though that's probably not possible. Yeah, there's yeah. probably a lot more to it than just putting an SD card. <laughs> Turn into off it. the lights, and you'd really be after dark. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> this is the. <laughs> So this original one does have voice. Oh, actually. It's probably a little loud. Um, so Parsec is a horizontally scrolling shooter written by Jim Dramas and Paul Urbanis for the Texas Instruments TI-99-4A and published in 1982. Dramas also programmed Car Wars and Munchman for the TI-99-4A. Uh, the player in Parsec, yes. What is a TIA 994A? Uh, I don't know much about it, but it is a home computer. Okay, uh, that it's, was a, it's a home, home computer. That then. was put okay. up by Texas Instruments, who made a lot of chips uh, that, that went into other computers. Okay. So I guess they went, why don't we just make our own computer? Yeah, I was going to say, I hear Texas Instruments, I think um, calculator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but I'm, obviously they made chips for calculators. So did Commodore. Before they really? made computers, they made calculators. 
Well, I, I, so it, that seems important. like a natural progression, yeah. but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and we watched a bit on, you know, Texas Instruments uh, on the 8-Bit Guys channel, where yes. you went through all the Texas... The Texas companies, Texas which is, was very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the player in Parsec pilots the spaceship through 16 differently oh. co colored levels. I mean, this is... It's not the same. This is not the same. This is more like... Um, mm. Kiloparsec is kind of inspired by this. It takes a lot of elements, but it's not the same gameplay. So just warning you right now. Um, so what I'm reading is not really super relevant. Oh. The object is to destroy all enemy ships while being avoided, avoiding being shot, colliding with any flying <laughs> objects on the ground, or overheating one's uh, laser cannon. But it does... You'll see what it shares. It shares a lot, but it's a little different than this. Okay. Um, okay, so... There are already some alternate biases out there in 7800. Um, there is one. So let's take a look at some of them. I'll we'll switch. Actually, we don't need to switch back. Miss Command says Commodore had to make chips because TI wanted to drive them out of the calc business. Oh, oh, really? And uh, ironically, uh, does Texas Instruments still exist? I don't think either of those companies still exist. Do Not they? in their current form, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, guess Texas Instruments still makes calculators. I, I, I think Casio is selling that market up. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that. I, yes, they do. Mm. Wow. Um, so uh, the Brewing Academy does make one right now that they sell. Uh, ah. BIOS upgrade with Asteroids, because Asteroids was the PAL game built in. Ah. So they are selling one that you can put in into an it's MTSC or PAL. Yeah. If you wanted to. Um, you must be able to desolder as well as cut <laughs> traces on the motherboard. So yeah. Mm. Be careful. <laughs> Just buying this. It's not it's not as simple as desoldering it Desoldering is not an easy process, as we found out when you were trying to desolder one of the chips off of As a... I destroy things. Yeah. yeah. It was a good time. <laughs> yeah. Uh interesting TI is still around. I, I, I mean that name still sounds I I'm I mean it was very I big figured before. that was still around. <laughs> Um, um, I was also able to find a number of other alternate BIOSes, including one with Pole Position 2 built into it as well. Mm -hmm. um, and Blue Azure okay. did an extensive post about three 7800 BIOSes, um, and also created bin files up to 32K mm -hmm. that would be possible to uh, use on the 7800. And uh, included in that thread is a disassembly from 2012 of the 1984 BIOS. So you can see he actually made this as well for Pac-Man Plus. I don't know if um, uh, Bob remembers this thread, uh, Blue Azor making this, because uh, he made uh, a custom title screen mm -hmm. saying Pac-Man Plus for it. Because mm -hmm. um, there he is. Um, but, he, but at the time, he didn't have time to, to work on um, a game. Again, let's see, where is it? So there's the pole position too, um, games. There we go. Not uh, being in a position to do, it, to do a BIOS mod soon. Um, curious of a screenshot. So now he is, and now it's mm -hmm. happening. Um, and there's also an alternative BIOS called DevOS BIOS that includes a cart dumper um, that dates back to the early 90s, uh, to the 90s and early 2000s, that you were able to dump games off of cartridges using it. Um, so let's um yeah let's get into it let's take a look at the game Yay. enough preamble sick of listening to me more games right okay people are talking about ti calculators right oh. now which is quite interesting <laughs> captain classic I, I am gonna have to follow that link i i find that stuff interesting i was never in a place where they required graphing calculators really? or anything like that I nope I was. really yeah. we were never required to have them but obviously I had to have one because I was in, uh, you know, physics classes and... I was in physics classes. We always had to hand draw graphs all the time. Yeah, I remember to, doing a lot of you that. You went to university physics, right? Yeah, I took university. After me. Yeah. So um, that's really weird. I, I don't remember needing a graph. But huh. I, I took uh, physics for the uh, biosciences. So uh, we didn't do a lot of graphing. I don't know. Okay. We did a lot of carrying the error. Oh, God. Carrying the error? Yeah. Oh. Standard deviations and error oh. calculations. And, oh, it was insane. But okay. anyway. You ready? Yep. Okay. Kill a Parsec by Pac-Man Plus and Revenge. Mm. 
I still have mine. I forgot how to use it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Switch over. I don't remember needing graph, um, graphing calculators for anything. And it's a blank screen. Not for us, but for you. Oh, this. Reverse Polish notation. Ha, ha, ha. I, I don't remember needing a graphing calculator. I remember doing a lot. What is happening? Um, calculus was brutal. I remember dealing with a calculus issue at work and like my brain almost exploding because I'm like, oh yeah, you have to integrate something. I'm like, can't do that anymore. You okay? What's going on? <laughs> we can see it. Black screen. But they can't see it. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Pac-Man plus Atari Age. I'm always nervous you guys are going to find a new bug. There are no bugs. No, we're, I, having, we're having video issues right now. I've extensively <laughs> tested this. And of course, That's the bug. <laughs> it was working just before. TI-83. 83 to basically cheat in math class. See, when I took university level calculus, we were not allowed calculators. We like they wouldn't let us bring in things we could program into oh. into the into the exams. My calculus was particularly brutal, and they also had a policy if you didn't get the right answer. Check, check. Okay. Well, I've forced it to use the audio now. It was on default. And whatever, when I, I think because I unplugged the game. Oh. It's like, oh, I'm going to use this as the audio, by the way. Terrible. Oh, no. Uh, check. Okay. So hopefully the game has sounds. Okay, here's Kiloparsec. Yes. Anyway. And to answer your question, because because people were saying they didn't hear the end of my story. Oh my All God. I was saying is we weren't allowed calculators. First year calculus. University of Toronto. Brutal. Brutal. Um, we weren't allowed calculators. And you got zero on, on the question if you didn't get the right answer. So even if you got every step correct, if you made one mistake halfway through, um, you would just got zero. They didn't care if you showed your work and, and all that crap. So yeah, brutal. People it was are horrible. They're still crackling. Crackling? Oh no. Oh. You get nothing good. Exactly. However, you might get like 10 out of 40 on a calculus exam, but then they curve everyone. So suddenly you're at 80% <laughs> because they made the exam so hard. Yeah. Not a good time. Anyway. Very occasional crackle. It looks like it's no coming from credit. the yeah. video game. Yep, there. It just happened, right? Yep, and again. Hmm. It's coming from the video game. From uh, the capture device. Oh, no. Calculus was one of my favorite courses. I had a great professor. I didn't do as badly as I would have thought. I think I like physics more, though. Physics was... I really enjoyed physics class, and I'm kind of regretful I didn't go into a physics field instead of biology and genetics, but um, but physics, we, we did physics for the life sciences. Okay, let's play, please. Okay, sorry, no, no, it's fine. Uh, so, yeah. Kiloparsec, it has, go through the options, nope, Normal. nope, go up, one or two players. One or two, nice. Difficulty. Normal, hard. Hard, and go to the left left easy oh. easy i would suggest putting on the easy first it i will try it it's I a hard do not know the game. game lives i would suggest Three, five. ranking it up to five excuse me and i find it easier with rapid fire on on yes um so 
This game you can overheat, so don't hold down your fire button. You can overheat it? Yes, so you have to back it off, fire, back it off, yeah. Like, oh, you mean you're, like, in the game? Yeah, not the... I was like, the chip is overheating? That's right, so back off the fire <laughs> That doesn't button. quite seem right. Okay, that makes sense. That's why you don't want rapid fire, right? You would overheat. The sound is working, that's good. Good. It may crackle, but at least it's working. And I had a great chemistry professor in university, too, who was really old. He was a professor emeritus. Um, I don't know his background. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but I just feel like talking about university. Well, we have to talk about the game. Oh, yes, we should. <laughs> However, oh he was God. so old. I re at one of, one of his uh, lectures... Don't hit that. Yeah, I figured that was probably not a good idea. Um, he actually referenced meeting Niels Bohr, who came up with the, like, the theory of positive and net negative charges in electrons. Wow. He's like, oh yeah, back when I was a student. Uh, ha, where did that come from? Um, when I, I met Niels Bohr, and I think the whole class, the class of... I would move up the screen. Oh, you can move back and forth. Uh, was, it was just hilarious. And you're just like, wow, this guy is like really old. <laughs> Uh, I thought it was a power up to at the beginning, but it was not. It's no. death. So it's is crosses. it death? Anything? It's crosses. Everything. Every, everything. On everything the is death. That's a. That's I mean, mm. honest. Yeah. Oh, honestly, as far as games go, if you just assume everything is death, you probably will do okay. Oh, the video game is choppy. Is it? Troubles today. Troubles. Yeah, it is. Uh, Between the lights and the. Oh. You're gonna die because I'm gonna make you die. Okay. Don't overheat it, Tanya. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna unplug it again. Oh no! Oh no! I don't know if it's the heat, but it's definitely hot in here. Things are gonna be a little wacky for a second. Okay, start it. Start playing. It's the same settings? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's new here. Yay! Can't see us, but we're still here. Oh, there we are. Are we choppy? No, we're not choppy. The game's not choppy. Oh. Adam. Technology. So, info from Bob. Uh, the BIOS creation itself was all Revenge, who I have added to this thread. Uh, what we've worked on together was the detection of the 2600-7800 cards. Regarding features, mostly the ability to bypass the splash screen by hitting pause upon startup, Only, uh, although it's only roughly five seconds. So these are some of the features that you will get when you put the BIOS in. Also, the PAL BIOS doesn't seem to detect the newer ARM carts correctly. This one does. So that's another upgrade. So PAL consoles uh, oh. will now be able to, on the 7800, will be able to play ARM games, which is a huge upgrade, actually. Uh, finally, personally, I love the Fuji logo on this one. Also, this BIOS is going to be open source, as is the game. So you'll be able to actually play the game outside of the BIOS chip as well. As far as distributing the BIOS chip uh, itself, I haven't thought that far ahead. Oh, you don't die on the... Uh, uh, I don't know. I think I drew myself back, so... Oh, okay. I think you do. Um, I know that Crossbow wants to do his first. I know he offers that kind of service, so there's a possibility in that. And I know there was uh, three people who were offering to do uh, installation of the BIOS chips, and I know there was one person who is offering to create the BIOS chips as well. Game audio is not in sync. Good well, lord! <laughs> that one is actually much easier. To make. If it's not one thing, it's another. Yeah. These these things attacking you from behind. Them, that is kind of unique. You don't see a lot of oh, and shooting at you. Very Jeez. deadly. So it is. It fixed. is. It's Yay, a lot of dodging. Because I had to reset the game capture, and apparently that resets the offset. <gasps> Why didn't you move up or down? I did, you but you don't. There. You don't move up and down very quickly, unfortunately. No, you don't. You're quite slow. You're faster than them, though. I don't know if you are. 
Oh, don't don't worry about being picky. I am just as picky. I would be upset <laughs> if I found out after the fact yeah. that all the audio was off. It's like that friend who doesn't tell you if you have um, spin ha 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 spinach in your teeth. Yeah. It's like no, I want to know. I don't want you to pretend like it's all not night. there. <laughs> so you're getting better. Uh, they always so move. get above them. Okay, that's a good that's a good tip. Oh, move down. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. you can see they do follow a pattern. Oh, I'll get back, back, back for these guys. So you kind of have they, to they memorize this. They do go in patterns, don't they? They do. So these guys go down all the time, it looks like. Same as from behind, I guess, too. I feel like they are charging them. Uh, they are going down, all of them. But they bounce off of things, so you have to care. Oh, no, those go up now. So that's a different, different. guy, and those go up. No, nope, no, nope, random. <laughs> right into the bullet. Go way back, way back. Um, so this is from Revenge, Mike Sarna. The BIOS development cha uh, challenges mostly stem from the differences in how the 7800 operates in BIOS mode versus cart mode. If I had to pick one defining characteristic, characteristic about GCC as an engineering company, they had a knack for doing clever things with very little silicone. Uh, and the method they use for allowing the BIOS and the cart to share the same address space in the 7800 is no different. In a nutshell, whenever the 70, uh, 6502 calls out for data from an upper address, if the BIOS is enabled, three logic gates stop the cart port from seeing three upper uh, address lines. This makes high addresses look like very low addresses to the cartridge port, so low in fact that they aren't part of the cart's ROM, so the cart stays silent. Except this scheme has some non-intuitive quirks you need to know when creating a BIOS, such as needing to avoid access to certain console RAM locations when a 2600 cart or cuddle cart could be plugged in, or needing to limit the address space the BIOS itself runs in prior to handing off to the in-BIOS gate. Figuring out these quirks took a lot of staring at 7800 schematics, a lot of hypothesis testing, reading through the GCC BIOS disassembly, and going through a lot of trial and error. When we first started this thing, it seems like it would be a fairly easy project. It's a good thing we were ignorant of how many hours we were going to be spending on troubleshooting. Sometimes that is the key to success, being ignorant about how hard the thing you're doing Because you is. would never do it if, if you realized how hard it was. Yeah, you'd be like, hell no. Why am sure. I doing, why <laughs> am I wasting my time on X? Yeah. Would you have done the documentary if you knew it would take you five years to get it done? Uh, that, well, it, <laughs> it's not much, so much the time. <laughs> it, it was the uh, amount of effort. Just yeah. massive amounts of effort. Yeah. It, it, I probably still would have. I think you would Knowing have, the result. still. <laughs> still, yeah. There's no guarantee of result when you do it either, so. So, ah. Pac-Man Plus, Bob, um, is this a really, really, really small 7800 game? <laughs> <laughs> like eight K seems to be really small um, for for these because I usually usually see forty eight or thirty two. Ah, right into you it. have to shoot him because yeah, he moves way much. faster than you can move back and forth. Your last life, shoot oh, him. No. Oh, that was a little bit. Oh, he was slow going down, then fast going. Down. And that was there fast up and down. No, they're fast. They move fast. Weird. Well, I think the, the shorter oh. the distance, the faster they move. Or maybe they just get faster over time. They are slow before they hit a wall. Yes. Then they speed up. They speed up. Oh. The, the distance. Watch out. Could be coming from behind or front. Oh, oh, he's leaving things, bombs, mines. Oh, there's a lot of room there. Go past him. Ah! Oh, no room there. Uh, get out of the way. Oh, lads. my oh! God. Wow, good run. That was fun. This is cool. I like this. Thanks, Bob. That's an awesome game. There's only one game smaller. Space War 7800 oh, was 4K. 4K. Oh. James is going to have to pay it, play at thir all 32 Two levels. levels <laughs> of kiloparsec? There's 32 levels How many of levels did I get through? Does uh, it even say? Oh, no, there's flags. I didn't even check to see oh, how many flags I got. What level did she get to? I don't know. Not that far. <laughs> Five or six, I don't know. I'm going to play in the same settings because okay. I want to see how far we can get. Gotcha. Um, I did not make it as far as you did when I played it the couple times that I did before the show. So there is a game ending if I play long enough. No, but level 32, ah. and that repeats. Ah. So you get to level 32. Gives the player a surprise. Interesting. Ah. 
good luck to that. That's why they said you have to play all 32 le levels uh, on after that. Well, you'll get farther than me, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, maybe after. I don't know what's in this margarita, but it's pretty strong. What do they normally put in Well, it's uh, usually tequila, but. I don't know. They refused to make a virgin margarita. Yeah, jeez. I, because James wanted one. What about me? Because I don't like the taste of alcohol. Uh, especially tequila. Oh um, my god, the worst of the worst. <laughs> well, I'd rather but, um, drink tequila than Because beer, it was already pre. Pre mixed in the in the slushy machine, pre which I find kind of funny. I don't know, that pre surprised me. Pre alcoholized. Is it the meteors now coming down? Um, or something from behind? No, from behind. It's behind, it's the muffins. <laughs> the muffins and then from behind. The muffins from behind. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no and room. Then, <laughs> and then the meteors, and then uh, the shooty guys from behind. Okay. They're like arrows. I am guessing the cavern is random. Because. <laughs> the muffins. Yeah. Uh, Bob is the, the blue, cavern. Blueberry muffins, the oh zucchini God. muffins. It's too tight there. The strawberry muffins. Is possibly bran muffins. Is the cavern, um, randomized? Because there's no way you're going to fit this in. It looks pretty random, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Or it could, it could be the same? I don't know. Oh my God. I like how that when they get... Uh, up against the wall, they kind of go, do, 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 do. Mm. And they move down really fast because mm. they have no room to go. Cavern is not random. It's not random? Oh, so it, it is a repeating. Jeez. Oh, it's a repeating. Is it repeating? It must be. 32 levels of cater cavern data seems yeah. to be a lot of data. <clears throat> yeah, you probably want it so it's not doesn't come up with weird, terrible designs, I'm, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Captain Man 2D came in late, so what are we watching, he says. <laughs> we are watching Kilo Parsec from Bob DeCrescenzo, Pac-Man Plus, and it is destined to be put in the BIOS chip of the Atari 7800. Oh, it's the falling... It repeats after about a minute. Okay, that it, it did seem like because okay. you have a nice variety of wide and narrow, back and forth. I'm guessing you have sense. to shoot the muffins until they're all gone because it took a long time to get through the muffin stage. We're all calling the muffins from this point forward. <laughs> <laughs> They've been dubbed muffins. And these look like um, muffin tops. <laughs> muffin tops. Ironing boards. Irons. No. Oh my god. Uh, they remind oh. me of those little pointy uh, paper clips, but I can't remember. There might be a name. Oh my god, this is a terrible narrow passage. It is narrow. Oh my god. What the hell? The train is red from the table. Gotcha. Is it deterministic pseudo-random to save space? That sounds very philosophical. <laughs> deterministic pseudo-random. Uh... Yeah. I like the Donkey Kong edges in the top and bottom. Donkey Kong girders. Girders? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that's... What? Ah! What? Uh, no! Help me! <laughs> <laughs> Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> uh, Pac-Man Plus. <laughs> you might have found a... <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone's saying. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> It got smaller and smaller. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm not hitting them. Oh, Is oh level god. two possible? Yeah, I'm only on level one. You have yeah. to get through 32 to get to level two? Wow. I thought the flag was... <laughs> oh god, you found a bug. Yeah, I think so. I, I think so. Yeah, I think so. It closed in on me. That was hilarious. <laughs> And that's how you never win the game. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you're doing too good. You have to die. <laughs> Pixel ah, perfect navigation. That's old school <laughs> difficulty. Yeah. I just, I'm just not good enough to make it, make it through that one pixel oh, passageway. Oh, that is funny. You're back at the beginning now. Oh! These are the same. I didn't make it to 32. 32 no, you're in flag. two. You're at flag two now. So, so you've cycled through one level. So I've seen all of the types of ships. I think that so. Means? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're at level. Whoa. 
Oh, that's nice. 32 is a long, a long journey, so that's good. <laughs> that's a very long I want to see you hit the, uh, the cavern the you can't cavern get cavern of through. death? <laughs> I just hope I get an extra man oh, by then. that's so funny. Are there yeah, extra lives? No. Oh, oh, I'm over here. Are you? Back off. How do you, how do you know? It was flashing. It oh. Flashing. Oh, I have muffins. So the cave part that was collapsed at the level end. <laughs> yeah. Ah, 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 no, it's too tiny. Hi. Oh, they're fast now. Uh, they're faster, it seems. I think you have to shoot all four. So I shot yeah. two. Now there's only oh, two you left. To, you have to hit a certain number. Now there should be only one left. Then you go to the next level. Gotcha. I think that's the only one where you have to shoot. Mm. It seems. Mm. Maybe I have to shoot all these. Oh no, it's death and I have no extra lives. Oh, can I make it? Up, 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 up. Oh. oh. <laughs> Is that a different point? So it's like a mm. cycle. Extra life. One extra life at, at 50,000. Okay. So try let's... try a harder level and see if. Uh... So we're gonna play two players. Is it? Back... Insert coin. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. Uh, we'll still keep it on five. Yeah, keep it on five. But go. Is go it for a the handoff hard? or is it two joysticks? Well, for two players. What model? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, I did post it at some point. Mean. <laughs> that is mean. Uh, A three eighty five. Yeah, I posted it somewhere at some point. A385. A three, yeah, I knew it. It is passing back. And forth. Okay. Yeah, but two joysticks or one? Oh. Oh my god, it's fast. Oh, it's better. Better? <laughs> As I run As into you the die cavern walls. Player two. There you go. Ugh. No time for drinking. No, it's two joysticks. It's two. Okay. okay. We'll just okay. leave the, that enough. person to die. This has been a run, gotta run, boy. <laughs> Catch the rest All tomorrow. All right, Estramiras, right, thanks. Estramiras. Thanks for joining us. I can only imagine how tight the cavern is on hard difficulty. It gets, it's, it's negative space. Oh it actually, God. it's a black hole of rocks that sucks light in. Yeah. Oh, how did player two make it to the... Next level, you must tag team it? It's going so... F oh. Are you on that? No, you're not on that. No, that's weird. Maybe you start in different points. Weird. Is it random? This is player two should have died like well before that. Player two is doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah. They are. They're made it way further than you. You should just let let Jesus take the wheel. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Like uh, look at where player two is. Like <laughs> bug number two. There we go. That's why we play on the show. Uh, that's, that's hilarious. That's why it's not on a chip yet. Uh, the bugs are the best part. Yeah. And they're funny bugs. Where player two is destroying player one and player two has no joystick plugged in. Good shots. Oh, good. I think rapid fire would be better, actually. It is. It is on. Oh, it's oh, not you're on. Gonna overheat. Non-rapid fire is you press a button, it shoots. You press another button, yeah, it shoots. It, it, oh. oh no! <laughs> <laughs> ludicrous. What is that? What is above ludicrous now? Plaid. Plaid speed. Yeah, this is plaid uh, difficulty <laughs> rating. Uh, you explode if you over. That makes sense. Why? I, I keep starting on the same level though. Oh. Is yeah. that intentional? No. Because I, I feel like I should have... Maybe think, it's hard and, and... I think player two is where you should be at. Oh, you might be right. Right? I don't know what's going on. Because you're stuck in the same level, but player two seems to be progressing. <laughs> that's a very that's a very interesting bug. So he's, got, ah! <laughs> he's got like... That's so funny. This, Miss Pac-Man Plus, thank you for following. Yay. Glad you're enjoying. Good internet. Oh, it just seems to take your one. And you're done. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to be... Hold on. Okay. I need ice in my drink. Sorry. I'm going to play one player on hard. Yeah, sounds good. Oh. Rapid fire on. This should work. Go, 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 go. <laughs> the 
see if it's the difficulty rating or if it's the two players. I'm guessing it's the two players. This is uh, very intense. I mean, you're able to move fast, which is really good. Ooh, very tight. But also the cavern's moving fast and they're approaching you really fast. So it's not really a reprieve. There we go. Oh, dropped a bomb. Well, back to the drawing board. Well, I wouldn't say these are really game-breaking bugs. Well, kind of, but uh, they're not like, oh, the game crashed or anything. They seem like they would... I don't know about the cavern, but the other one seems like it wouldn't be to hunt down. Yeah, unless it's a model number issue. That could be a, that could be a thing. Oh, 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 oh my god, they're moving slow. Oh my god, that's actually a challenge. Yeah, because they're almost at oh. your speed. You have to be in between the two. Wow, this this is actually harder than it looks that part of it okay there are two cats here who i think want treats they do they seem very excitable a3 units seem to be the most challenging sometimes due to the extra circuits and other changes well then that's a good unit to test things on if it's the most buggy because there's going to be a certain number of people that have that one and you want to make sure the lowest common denominator is is working for everyone harder than it looks it looks hard it that part was very hard. Uh, level three of this? Or the third. The muffin. The muffins. Not level three, but uh, third. The third round. Round. We'll call them rounds. Yeah. Stage. Oh, Stage. Lord. Terrible. Yes, it was the one that the, uh, that the XM was to be tested on the most from her. Uh, Kitty wants to play. It tapped the stick you have. Did you want to play? We'll play some more games after this. Yeah. <laughs> look at them. They well, look very expectant. You can play with that joystick. It's not plugged in. Oh. Lord. My turn. No, no, no. I need another. <laughs> I need Fire revenge. Revenge. Revenge against the muffins. Muffins. Yeah, I need to beat those muffins. It was hard. And you, you just have to shoot all four, so you really have to concentrate on getting each one as you pass them, so they don't come back in the next round. I think the challenge is the narrow passages. When, when the passageway on is, fast? you can dodge yeah. really easily, but when it gets really... Ah, right into them. When it gets really narrow. Both Atari and Pixel on camera. Yes, they were. I know. Only Atari's on camera. Ooh, a bullet See? and a mine. Narrow and narrow. Yeah. You start back at the beginning, though, each time. Of that round? Yeah, I thought so. Well, you didn't pass it. You didn't pass that round. Didn't I make it to the next? No. Huh? The next round is the things falling oh, from ahead. the sky. Oh, hot. Mm -hmm. Kitties are expectant. Oh, crying cats. Oh, pixels back. Oh, God, that was terrible. I turned it upside down. Okay. Not getting treats with an upside down bell. You get a partial treat here. Partial treat. You get a partial score for that answer. Half score. Half score. Half treat. Half treat. No, that was totally unfair. That was impossible. That was impossible. He was coming up and he was protected by the edge. And I couldn't shoot him. And by the time I got to him, I guess I maybe could have gone past him if I anticipated it somehow. Extremely hard. 
either way. Yes, 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 I heard you. Demanding. I heard you. I need service. Time. Service. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh, muffins. Ah, oh, and I, my last life. I'll play one more. All right. Then we'll be moving on. <laughs> yes, it's very reminiscent of Parsec. <laughs> this is yeah. Kilo Parsec. It's Kilo. all underground. The original Parsec was not underground, at least in the video that I no, saw. No, it was, no, Above that's true. ground. And then there was fuel, it's refueling, a, too. You have to refuel underground. Yeah. So it's kind of like the refueling part. Mm -hmm. It's kind of mixed together, the two parts of the original parsing. Oh my god, I'm doing terrible. Normal speed, you haven't showed. Oh, yes. Um, That's true. You yeah. do that now. This is hard, right? Yeah. Obviously, That's we don't need to show three lives because we'll just, we'll just die quicker. <laughs> That's the only difference. Oh, so that is level two. They become solid. Uh, okay. That makes sense. Damn it. <laughs> it hard is hard. Oh, look at my score. Perfect. Retire that. Oh, ha ha ha. <laughs> Funny. Ooh, that was close. Today I learned there was a game called Parsec. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah. I, 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 no, you know, I've seen it in the used bin. I've never played it. <laughs> Ooh, that's tight. I knew somebody with TI-99. I couldn't fit the refueling. That's okay. It's pretty oh. cool as is, so. Refueling is just a side uh, distraction. Really. Oh, I have one life. Oh, shoot. Oh, there's tons of them. How many uh, How many do I need to shoot in this level? Oh, no. There's more. There's not just four. 7,200. There you go. Oh, close. So, you play in normal. And I think I have um, some information. From the thread about the BIOS, uh, Pac-Man Plus says, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I need to talk re to Revenge to see what he agrees upon. The BIOS Plus game will be open source, but as far as burning EEPROMs, I could probably take care of that end of it. Um, but in the thread, both um, Dr. Venkman, Crossbow, and Juan Solo in the UK has stepped up to offer installation services for the new BIOS. So there's more than enough people uh, that will be able to install the BIOSes. Um, and information from Crossbow about changing out the BIOS, which is beyond beyond me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try it myself. Uh, the BIOSes are usually socketed, but later models did have it soldered in. Uh, it requires changing the chip, obviously, and inverter an inverter LS4X series logic chip that's usually soldered dead bug style on top of another one in the system, a wire to be ran from that inverter chip to the new BIOS chip, and a jumper that has to be moved or installed on the main board to select for the properly chip size used. So, many steps, um, and if, there, it, if it involves desoldering, that's definitely out of my price range uh, in terms of what I can do. Dan has played Parsec in the TI-99. 16 of them on hard. Oh my god. So four times as many oh. of the muffins you have to kill. The muffins? Yeah. <laughs> but there is actually names for those. I'm uh, sure. Oh, they do. So he has a bit of a manual for them? Uh, he doesn't, but the original. Oh, the original. Because they're based off the originals. So. Let me just read out the names of all the, all the characters. Is that the uh, PDF of the original? game here oh my goodness so the first ones are swoopers ah! second ones are herbites Herbites. those are saucers oh, that makes sense so, ah! tight space um there's asteroid belt there's ltfs uh dramites binites and killer satellites. There's eight different types of enemies. Um, and in the original game, uh, it depends on the screen color how much they're worth. So they don't change how much they're worth very much from the screen color. There's only one that changes 
how much you get for it. Why would they make a whole chart? <laughs> Look at this. This it's space. They made a whole chart for showing you what each is worth oh. on each level. Nice. But there's only one that changes its how much it's worth. It's the asteroid belt. So hitting certain All the rest are, are the exactly same. the same. They no. could have three. Oh, three. barely. Some of them do. Oh, yeah, they just... change. They change. There's one, two, three, and then the rest. One, two, three. Yeah. Right. There's like a they lower, could have lower, and this way higher. Smaller. But that makes sense. Hmm. So I will play normal now. Instead of muffins or pies. Did you make it past the muffins? Uh, no, I don't think I did. <laughs> so you probably have to shoot. I don't think I did. Eight, twelve, four. There's four and sixteen, so I'm guessing eight. If he's doubling mm -hmm. each. Time. False advertising. Eight kilo parsec. <laughs> It's, it's a multiple of cube. Uh, it's tight. Ah! Those narrow passageways. Wow. They are not fun. Oh, like this. So you, have to, you have to anticipate that they're going to shoot you where you own. Oh, how can they navigate through it? <laughs> Hard to make it past the muffins. They're so tasty. You just need to have one. That's weird that you didn't encounter that on your playthrough, right? Uh, on the easy, yes. But not on the medium that I'm playing. I don't and I got it No, with... but I didn't make it that far. <laughs> you made it further than me. You made it further than me, and I got the narrow passage. Oh, Pac-Man Plus says, the point values for the enemies follow the point values for the fruit in Pac-Man. Oh, funny. <laughs> uh, gotta tie it in somewhere, don't you? Oh, these are spaced out. On, on hard, they're not spaced out at all. <laughs> oh, now they're getting... Oh my god, they're getting fast and... Ah, no, 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 no. One more, one more, two more. How many more? There. Now it's asteroid time. <laughs> so obviously some of those, based on their color, are worth a lot more than others. No. Not again! You've never gotten this. No, I have. Oh, you did. Okay. No, I have. Sick. I have. I don't know if I did it on medium, but I didn't get very Twice far. in a row. Yeah. I'm sure um, Pac-Man Plus is, uh, Bob is uh, uh, taking uh, <laughs> taking notes of where we're running into these, so. Oh, he can run. Okay, that's yeah. pretty, pretty easy. Yeah. But it seem, it's seemingly random. It, it, it is a little random, actually, yeah. Really it seemed to happen call. a lot with the easy... Well, we made it further in the easy. True. The thing. So it had more chance of coming up. <laughs> oh my god, he's stuck in the passageway. <laughs> I made it really easy to shoot him. Ah! Uh, I don't like those, because if you don't hit them... You're dead. You're dead! Cannot, They're so fast! Unless these. Like unless this. they have the, yeah, a lot of distance uh, between the up and down. Oh, Bob. <laughs> Sorry. Don't be, too, don't be hard on yourself. <laughs> it's, a, it's probably something with a very simple solution, so. Aww. Oh. <laughs> All my lives <laughs> go to that. But the... Uh, oh! We didn't see that before. Yeah, we did. Did we? Yeah, yeah. You got to that before. You, ah! You did circle through them. So oh, they're uneasy. the ones who leave the mines. That's yes. Right. Uh, Carl G., I definitely like this as a built-in game. Yeah. It is awesome. It would have been a uh, killer built-in game at retail, like people wanting to buy the system. Yeah. Oh, oh. shot me. Very cool. Yes. Oh my god, what a fun game. It's yeah, great. Yeah, 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 great. Good game. Level one. Yeah, you have to pass through all eight obstacles to get to level two. And, and yeah, and, and then it through. gets faster. We made it to the level two, but not yeah. much further. <laughs> yeah. It's challenging. It yeah, is challenging. It is. Super fun. Um, yes, I am, and I can also rewatch the video when you post it. Yeah. That's true. So you can see where the where that occurs in the pattern, and if it's the exact same pattern each time. Yeah. I know it, the way it closed up yeah. was exactly the same. It, it had, was. That, it it that, looked identical every time we encountered it. It had that one big spike, and then it yeah. went boop, 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 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, why is the camera? Did you not off the camera? Did I? I don't know. It looks very far over. Oh, no. It was far over when we started. Oh, what? Yeah. Where did it's been the like that the whole stuff? names. The scrolly. That's what? why. What? Oh, never mind. Never it's mind. There. That's why it looks like that. There we go. Because <laughs> usually that's covering the filing cabinet. Oh. Right? And the printer. That's fine. So No, no, you're you're but you don't have it set up properly. Oh, like okay. from from when we started if you want to adjust it. Eh, it's fine. It's not zoomed in all that much. I'll swear. I know me too. <sighs> Oh. So awesome, awesome game. Very fun. Uh, really, yeah. really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Very challenging. So um, I like I like the tunnel that just just basically <laughs> kills you. screws you over. <laughs> That's right. Oh, it's, it's, it's funny. It's an Easter egg. Oh, you have to figure funny. out the hidden passageway to yes. get past it. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna move on to Cosmic Canyon. Thank you so much, Bob and Revenge, mm -hmm. um, uh, for letting us play this game and debuting it on the show. Shoot mm -hmm. your lays to see where it passes through the rocks. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. It's a kill screen. You found it. That's mm -hmm. right. Well, it definitely was a kill screen. Well, we made it to the end then. <laughs> yep. um, so this next game is by uh, uh, Kiaru Yojimbo, Rick Pryor. It's Cosmic Canyon. It was posted on May 22nd when we were off. Off? Okay. Yep, just after we were off. Um, he uh, made the Galactopus line of games. Oh, nice, nice. Um, and also Shattered Earth, you know, that black and white game where you're moving in between the mazes and you have to pick up the people. Okay, yep. yeah. Um, very cool look to that. And I think he's continued on that look in this game as well. Uh, so let's go over to the 2600. Ready. <laughs> Uh, so Kira Ujimbo wrote, A little while ago I had the idea of making a Joy of Painting style video where I would make a simple game in Atari Basic. It's called Cosmic Canyon. Oh, they're not loaded? It says 18th, so... I'll go into that one? Nah, they're not loaded at all. Oh no! That's terrible. If you could read Good out. night! Good night, Bob! Good night, Bob! Thanks for hanging so, out. From what point? And the game from the beginning, please. Cosmic Canyon by Rick Pryor. Kiru Kier, Yojimbo. Uh, you weren't listening to me at all. Nope. <laughs> I know. I, I'm like, I, I know you mentioned that already, so. Kiru Yojimbo wrote. Did you say that? Yep. So just say it from there. That's fine. A little while ago, I had the idea to make a Joy of Painting style video where I would make a simple basic, a simple game in B Basic. Is that right? Yep, Atari Basic. Atari, yeah. Atari Basic, okay. <laughs> and explain what I was doing as I went along. I've sort of cooled on making the video for now, but I may come back to it at some point. But I went ahead and made the game. It's just a simple little cave Flappy Bird style game. Press the button, your ship goes up. Release the button, your ship goes down. Don't crash into stuff. I like games like that. They're very easy to start playing. High score in the thread is 36 by McAllister. <laughs> Fun game. Like the black and white color scheme and the way the asteroid belts move. That movement is so smooth and relaxing. Once I pass a few asteroids, I can really get into the zone. The controls take a little getting used to, but once you get used to them, the game presents a nice one-button challenge. Somebody, that's a quote from somebody. Yes. Can and you then, say who it is? It doesn't say. Oh, geez. Uh, your games Off are highly game. enjoyable. Thanks for posting this one. Oh, sorry. It's at the bottom here. Words. Game by Alberto at Jab. Uh, no, that's the next game after No, that. there's no name there. No. Oh, okay. Weird. Unless that's M McAllister themselves. Uh, yes. Is it? Yes. Okay, well, you you didn't make that very clear. Uh, the notes, um, the notes for me. So. Those are your notes. Uh, <laughs> words game. No, nope. that's not what we're talking about. That's the about. one after. Okay. Okay, okay, we're ready. Thank you for de delaying. <laughs> it's hot. Our brains are fried. Mm. Yeah, very true. Okay, so this ready. is... Oh, I turned it off. Load it on up. Cosmic Canyon? Yes, Cosmic Canyon. Okay. What? 
Oh, I hit the bottom. Good lord. Yeah, don't hit the top or the bottom. Uh, this is a 2K oh, game. Uh, it was put out on May 22nd. Uh, other games by uh, Rick Pryor are A Very Galactopus Christmas, Cosmic Canyon, Death Voyage, Feral Quest, Atari Box World, Galactopus, oh Miss Galactopus, Shattered Earth, Sky Destroyer, and T Rex. Simulator. It's a very, very simple it's, game. It's, so. it's not easy. <laughs> so you have to beat 36. I'm not, I, I have to beat two right now. There, are three! Hey, yay! yay. Oh. oh my god, it's very hit, sensitive. Hit, hit the tail end of your ship on the Oh my god, it's really hard. This one is diabolically difficult, Carl G says. Yes, it is. Oh my god. This and is worse has... than Flappy Bird because of the movement of, of, of the obstacles. The, the obstacle moves oh. and you move you quite move rapidly. This is terrible. And it is a like a digital movement too. It's on <gasps> off. I hit down. Oh my god. <laughs> they so, need they need a border at the bottom so you know when you're getting close. Oh, that is true. It is a very tall sprite. Like that whole asteroid belt. And I hit the top. It needs it needs a border. Like a line on the yeah, top. Yeah, it bottom. needs a border. You're pushing his 2K to the limit. Oh my god. Yeah, 2K. I I get it. I well, get it. A line isn't much. It would be like. So much. <laughs> he might be able to include a line. A line would be nice. Oh. But he's already declared that he's done with it. So. Fair enough. It's too late. Fair enough. Unless we really complain about the top and bottom. Because you really can't see where the top and bottom is unless you reference um, like the counter on the bottom or where the asteroids hit at the top and bottom. Six. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Reach five points in the muffin show. Welcome, Ty Frisbee. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, zero. oh my. Zero. Oh, it's way harder than it seems. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it is much harder than it seems. You have to kind of get used to the movement and the way you fall through. Oh, I should have died there. Ah. Oh. This this margarita. It's hitting you. No, it's so <laughs> salty. Oh my god. I don't know what they put in it. Buy so we went to get Mexican food today from a place that just opened up. It's kind of like a local chain. Um, but the moment I walked in, I know we were I knew we were in trouble because it there was a sign up saying, "We're learning. Please be <laughs> patient with us." And I'm we're like, learning. "Oh god, because they they haven't been open very long." And uh, they screwed up James's order. Mm. Um and I don't know what's up with this margarita, but it tastes like salt more than anything else. And it's supposed to be ah, strawberry, and I swear, ten. I swear to God, he put like paprika in it. Of, there is no strawberry in this margarita, and it's really salty. Like I don't know what's going on. Anyway, he put the. That's um, my rant for today. <laughs> no, uh, it, does that look like strawberry? It no. looks like it looks like spices. You know, unlike the Bloody Mary, where you put yes. it on the rim. Yes. He put that instead of the I strawberry. I think he did. <laughs> There's no strawberry. In oh this. yeah, there you go. Sugar and salt. Milk. Yes, that's a possibility too. It's really salty. I mean, salt is good on a hot day. You need your electrolytes, yep. but still. And he's like, "Do you want a jalapeno in it?" And I'm like, "Sure." And then afterwards, I'm like, why, why, why did I say yes? Damn it. Yeah. Jalapeno in your drink? They were at least honest. Yeah, and it, so it doesn't, I mean, in a way, it's like, okay, well, it won't stop me from coming back because we've been to this chain before and they're usually very good. So, yeah, if they they've learning. got a, a whole bunch of new staff, then, you know, I, I can be a little bit uh, empathetic to that, but... How was the food? The food actually tasted good. Like, my tacos were okay. Although I asked for cheese, they didn't put cheese on it. So they screwed up the order. But the actual, oh, like, food was good. Eleven. Oh, yeah. I, I have a new style. Ugh. Oh. 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 It's a very simple game. Oh, my God. Hit the bottom. What, uh, what I'm trying to do now is kind of time up going up. See? Line. You need a line. <laughs> I've hit the top or the bottom of a couple of occasions. Now that I've explained it, I can't do it. <laughs> oh. brutal. brutal. Oh. 
Okay, 11. I am retiring on 11. Oh I'm not going to beat McAllister on his 36. Not today, anyway. Oh, good one. It's near the top when it's right at the top because you can't hit the top, but you have to go through it. Or at the bottom. Too. It is. Oh, that's not good. Great uh, artwork for the uh, for the game, though. It's really, really nice. Oh, see, I hate the bottom. Hitting the bottom is just such a low blow. Do it Odyssey style and tape a border to your screen. That's right. Get some tape. Mask it off. They actually do that on film sets. They literally just put an overlay on the monitor so they know what it looks like in widescreen. Because they film it open matte. Mm. Unless you've got an anamorphic oh lens and then, then it would be squished. That's another tactic is to bob up and down. It's hard oh, though. It's hard. All of it's hard. Because you have to bob at the right level. Oh, you push a little too hard. There's a lot of gravity. <laughs> there is too much gravity, really. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, it's your last one. My last one? Yep. That's entirely unfair. It'll make you try harder. No, say that. You're making me nervous! <laughs> Five. No, one more. Needs a turbo button. That that would work. Oh, Lord. It would be like... Speed it up? Because it would maintain speed depending on how fast your turbo button is. Do I have a DB9 turbo button? I do. Oh, 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 no, I can do better than five. This is terrible. I do have a turbo button. Is it excessive? You're... you're, you're distracting me while I'm trying to do this. Um, what are you what are you talking listen. about turbo buttons? Don't listen to me then. I try not to. <laughs> it's hard some days. <laughs> Eight. The Sega Genesis Arcade Nine. Power Stick has a Ten. turbo button and it is a DB9 <sighs> joystick. 10. So, you're distracting me. What? What's the turbo button for? It's to maintain your height. Height? This Interesting. Way. Oh, trouble. <laughs> Was that an intentional fun? No. <sighs> yes. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Is that the turbo button? Ah, uh, but the problem is... Speedy. <laughs> you can't turn... <laughs> You can't easily turn it off. Oh. Right? You'd have to go. You have to turn it off oh. and on. You can stay at one level? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's hard because the thing moves anyway. I mean, it kind of works. It's the so middle button. It's the middle button? And you can Megafine? turn it on. No, that turns it on and off. I don't. What does, what does, I don't understand what it does. What is it doing? Okay. Oh, I see. But you have to turn it off to oh, move. Oh, yeah. You have to, and you have to turn it on to maintain. It doesn't quite work the way you think it'll work. Because... The button moves you, too. You should also be on the opposite side when trying to clear the gate. If the gate is moving down, start from the top and move down with it. Yes. So, yeah, it's... The turbo button does not help. <laughs> you think it would, but it doesn't. Um, Agreed. But Captain Classic, you are correct. You want to move down with it. Or you want to move down with that and then when it's moving up you want to move up with it because that maximizes your space all right move up with that and up with that one there yeah no you're absolutely yeah. right on that one yep 
You can be your own turbo button. <laughs> I think it. Oh. Oh. Ten. That's the best I've done is Kay. ten. I think you You're got done. eleven, right? Yep. Damn it. It's a good point. Stop. <laughs> he always does that. Oh no, you can't beat me. So I, we're gonna move on. Now. That's a fun game, though. We're gonna use the seventy-eight hundred. I can see how playing that for a little bit longer will get you oh, more yeah. accustomed to the movement of those walls. Oh, but yeah. it is hard. Right. It is hard. Next game is words game, and this is gonna be an audience participation. Look it up. Audience participation okay. game. Okay, words. Yep. Nice. I like this. I like audience participation. So if uh, you it's can... already started. Yep. So you pick the letters. Okay. In the order to spell a word. So. Ah, that's not. Is that H? H e d i a. Media. M. Oh, media. Is that M or oh, is that? Oh, it's an M. Uh. Camera. Oh. Press on a net blank. Yeah. Yeah, the H would be lower. There we go. Fitoko 8 bits got oh. it. Captain Classic got it. Uh, oh. Forward. Oh. Why is it so easy when I'm not playing? I don't know, because you were. So I, I saw you playing it in here. I was being destroyed before. But... You you were having a lot of trouble. Ooh, ha, that's Whoa. a lot of letters. Something with a Y. La Lee? Lee? Probably somebody says. Yes, you oh, got it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Kotoko got it. Ah, no! Polybius. Good guess. Ah! Uh, okay. I'm having trouble just getting it to this move. This is by Alberto, and it was put out on May 30th. The five seconds. Three, two... You got there two points. Go. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, you get points for the letter letters as well. Oh, my God. It's uh, a W. Yeah. A K and a Co W? Oh, my God. That's a long word. Knowledge. Ooh. Nice one, Charles Reese. Ah, stop it not moving. So this is by Alberto says, hi, this is my first post on the forum. Sorry for my bad English. I'm Italian. Uh, I made my first Atari 2600 game and it's a word game. It's very simple. You must find the correct word using all the shuffled letters on the screen before the timer expires. Uh, select the word. Ugh. Run out of time. Edge. I was like, what comes <laughs> next? Uh, selecting job, the letter, moving forward uh, and left to right, then press fire. If the word is correct, the score increases. If it's wrong, it'll be reset to the initial it's position. W? World. Uh, if you fire an empty letter, the word resets to its initial position. Uh, every level has five words. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. To proceed to the next level, you must meet, reach a minimal score. What is that? Family. Ah, uh, nice. H? No. no, M. M. No? Morning. Morning. Oh. Nice. Good one. Rendered ghost. It's like normal? No. It's it's kind of a bit off because everybody's Jeez. stream is at a different speed. Yeah, it's true. So I'm just saying the first one that appears on our, our, our screen. Yeah. Rendered Ghost says, I helped. Yeah. Property? Oh. Sometimes you look at it and just like, there it is. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, what? Oh, RC's. Oh, Crossbow got it this time first. According to the speed of everything. Yeah. <laughs> the relativistic speed of streaming. Uh, uh, TH? Oh, my third. goodness. Nobody's getting it. Really. 
played this earlier and I couldn't get a single yeah. word. Yeah, James was playing it earlier and he was so really struggling, tough. but sometimes... Uh... I think... I mean, it depends on the word. I don't even know if you have time to spell it out, even if we get it. Well, that's the thing, and I was I was hitting left and right, and it wasn't moving. I don't Manager? Know no, man, nah. needs a T. Anyone? 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 Bueller, two seconds. <laughs> Megatiner. Agreement. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Megatiner, Vitoko, thank you. <laughs> does that use all the letters? If it does, then. Mega. Tiner. Is there... I think it does. No, but there's no M. Yeah. That's, that's it. Oh, that is an that M. Is an M. Agreement. See the H and the M. Yeah, that's a. And the problem. W confuse me a little bit when you look at it. I think. I mean, it's a consistent font, but it's hard. Yeah. So is that game over if you miss one? Yeah, it starts over. No, it goes to level three. No, it starts it's over. It's cheat. It might be cheat. Try it. Ah! Stop it! Oh my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> These. <laughs> I if it's a she as well. <laughs> I think it has to scramble them. I think it does. It's like, take the first letter, don't put it in the first position. Take the second letter, don't put it in the second position. But there's a possibility that it... Actually, the only possibility would be the last letter would be in the last position because none of the others randomly chose it. Uh, that's an H? Uh, no, M. M. Mit, min... Minions? <laughs> no. Mission? Mission! Oh, Charles Reese got it. I am getting some of these without the, the input, but yeah. I think we're all kind of getting it at the same time. Yeah, because uh, the chat can play it at the same time. Uh, Ma. Uh, ra. The, when they get longer, it gets... Chrominous. I don't know. Uh -huh. The programmer needs to supply us uh, with a word list. Well, you can... Uh, so there's an SH. Look at the code. I'm sure it's very... Uh, okay. It's not encrypted or anything. Recormous. <laughs> mm, never heard that. It, it's probably a word. It might not be the solution to this one. So far, all the words have been like normal words. Lol. <laughs> Consumer. Uh, see... Yeah, it's an M. Good one, I keep thinking it's an SH, and, and that's screwing me up, but it's yeah. an M. I think that's, it's using that's play the thing that... Um, for the whole game. I know, that's what's Except messing me up. Except for the box. Mm. Very, very Some cool. Cone. <laughs> Some cone. Okay, one more. One more? Yep. Oh, my God. Uh, it's still, it just keeps you... It's let, still le It lets three. you keep going. There's no end to this. No, but it usually starts over. It's weird. There's something about the levels that's off. Uh, two L's... Goodness. I find this so hard when you get to this level. <laughs> Political? Oh, yes. Nice. Rendered Ghost is killing it. Caterpillar. <laughs> uh, cat nice. Good, Good one. Score. Yes. Nice one. Uh, uh, tra later? Tra later? No. <laughs> uh, Tau? Tellerit? Tellerit? Wow, how can this I'm be so this. hard? What is it? Read to L. L. <laughs> You're not helping me. <laughs> uh, Trial. Yes. Ah! Two seconds. Come on. Oh! oh no! Okay, it started over. C E H. Oh, you know what it is? Uh, you just get points. You go through the whole levels, and you get points, or you don't get points, and it adds it up. Uh, so you don't die in this game. Uh, wow. Speech. You can cheat. Oh, come on. How can you cheat it? Oh, um, yeah, you can go online and type in the letters. Yeah, yeah but you shouldn't do that. No. No. Uh, oh, an X. X. Uh, is that the phone? <laughs> um. <laughs> Meh. Meh. Hexa. He yeah, no, it's an M. Oh. Mexa. <laughs> Mexapel? Mexapel. Me mep. Mepa. No. Example! Nice. Crossbow gets it. Sounds like a Mexican. Sounds like a medicine name. 
Have you taken your Mexipel? <laughs> Mexical, Mexipel's side effects may include yeah, yes. drowsiness, death. Uh, oh my god, that's <laughs> a lot of vowels. To, inability to spell. Yeah. Uh, undergrad. Uh, what? No. Doesn't have T. Uh, gra uh, graduate? No grad. No, there's, a, there's no H in graduate. Graduate. <laughs> graduate. Graduate. The. Damn it! Graduate. <laughs> Your joystick is wearing it out, it seems. Graduate? No, it's no, not. No, it's not, because it's an, an H. H. Huh, graduate. <laughs> that was so close. I, huh. I feel like I should get points for that. Daughter! Oh my god, who knew graduate was one off from daughter? Well, GHT is such a weird. Oh, it is. I see H, I think S H T H C H, not uh, yeah. G H. Oh, man. There's eight levels. Yeah, so. but we're still going. Yeah. So yeah. I guess you can fail and keep going. Yeah, you can just get not point, not get points. Um, so this game includes 140 words of five letters, 140 what? words of six letters, 126 of seven, and 78 of eight, and 41 of nine letters. Re Teach. Reattach. No, it's two. It's not no. another R. That's pretty. Huh. And you need two T's. Reattach. Oh, somebody. Uh, uh, nine letters. Cre create. Cre create. Creature? Creature. No. There's two R's. There's no a U. Oh, no. no oh, that's no close, U. though. That's a good guess. Um, four, three, two, one. Bam. Character. Character. Mm. The problem with these games, I mean, there's a lot of words. Yeah. There's like. It's like almost 500 words in this vocabulary. So mm. even if you play a full game, you probably won't recognize all the words. Playing? Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh... Chair. The five ones oh, they're are easy. so easy. Oh, come on! Except for entering it in. But you can, you can hear me click it and it not moving, which always pisses me off. Um, Re-enter, no. Um, hmm. Ten? Ten? Ten year? <laughs> ten, no. Nine? Entry? No. It's the, I'm, I'm sure there are... Neither. It's no H. Entree? On, need to replace... The joystick's okay. fine. I just get, Tanya. yeah, sometimes <laughs> entire, oh entire. my god 25 seconds is a good amount of time because it it's not too long and not too it's, short it's, it feels short, entire it gives uh, Ishuero <laughs> no uh, re, reissue oh, oh reissue uh, ro, Ross, Ross Res, Res <laughs> So, <laughs> there's going to be two oh, no. vowels together. Issuer O. No. <gasps> Issuer oh. No, not enough time. So, oh my god. Serious. It's really good at scrambling, though. It is. I wonder if he worked like really hard on the scrambling. You know what? If you scramble it and it vaguely looks like a word, word it throws you off it so does, cause you're much because your brain is so focused on that word. Oh my god! No, ni nai. Noi, noi. I'm getting worse and worse at this <laughs> as it goes on. <laughs> oh my god! Continue. Continue. Yes. The crowd is helping us. Oh, that's the, the whole point. The chat is helping us in the, on the long words for quite a bit. N I N. I N. You're talking, so it's hard for me to spell when you're chatting in my ear, so I have to look I back at the see. chat. Crossbow got that one. Yeah, good job. So it's an M and an H. Uh, wow. An M? That's an M, not Yeah. And an H. Yeah. So T H possibly. Possibly somewhere. Oh my God. Together. Or an S and H. So 
Oh God. Oh my God. A thing hose. Something. Oh, Fatoko got it too. I got it. No, I got it. I got it before you got it. So I started spelling it out, and you, I, I saw it too. Uh, we all got it at the same we time. We all got it. Game over. Oh, Good there job. we go. I, oh, you know what? Oh, you have to have a minimal score to keep going. Oh, I see. So, so we made it to seven. So to make it to level eight, you. Oh, that's a good way of doing it. Because you keep playing. Oh, you're at level five. Okay, yeah, you keep playing. Level five. To make it to level six, you'd have to have 122. Gotcha. That's a good way of doing That's it. That's a great way. Because it keeps you pushing, right? Yep. Yeah. And then you start over. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Great job by Jab. Excellent, excellent game. That like, is fun. For this style of game. Oh, it's fun. It's a great implementation. Yeah. If you could put beeps as it gets five, four, three, two, one to add intensity. Yeah. Deet. Deet, deet, or just deet. have the Jeopardy theme going da 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 Oh, that da, would be too da, distracting. Da, da. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Way too distracting. It's good though. It's very good. Yeah, yeah. great job. It's nice and simple. Okay, so now we're going back to... Actually, I agree, oh, Dan, what? ABC. It's great for parties. Because yes. you can have a bunch of people screaming out their suggestions. And the first person to get it, you know... Yeah gets whatever <laughs> gets a patent or you have the you have the joystick on the uh, coffee table and oh, when someone wants to guess they run over and try to right. and put their guess in. and they can get the points yeah or, you know i like it uh so let's move on to our fourth game of the night which is dragon defense mm. is by tyler frisbee this is made in 2015 and he actually responded when i posted that uh we're gonna play the game mm. tonight i don't know if he's in the chat mm. Um, Snake K game. Load it on up. Go for it. 2015 or the 2021? Uh, 2015. Okay. Uh, then we'll do the new one. The new one? Um, so I printed out the instructions, which are still in the printer, actually. Oh, he is! Ty oh, Frisbee! Welcome. Hello! I made the original in high school. Don't judge me too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, in uh, Dragon Defense, you assume the role of a wizard defending a castle against an array of dragons. Nice. Each time a dragon hits the wall uh, or blasts it with fire, the part of the wall crumbles. If the dragon makes it past the wall or you lose all of your three lives, the game is over. You gain one point for every dragon you slay. Check out the image at the left. You can't see it. In order to determine what each object of the game is. Um, so there's four spells. There's a magic shield, hmm. magic missile, health regeneration, and fortification. Magic shield is just the button, mm -hmm. so you can block shots. Magic missile is to the right, because everything is coming at you to the right, so that okay. one's easy to remember. Health is to the left, so if... While pressing the fire button. Yes, yeah, so you press so the you left, press, press the right, button. press the fire button left. And then fortification is down while pressing the button. Okay. So, so to build your wall back up. Great, uh, great title screen. Mm. Um, mana points. Mana points are necessary for any wizard to cast spells. So you'll have to collect mana potions in order to build up enough points. They're on the screen, little dots. Okay. However, this is more easily said than done, as usually only one potion appears on the battlefield at a time, and the position is completely random. You can collect up to eight mana points, po potions at a time. So you can't just keep um, uh, building them up. Mm -hmm. um, eight. You need all eight for fortification. You need four for health, oh. one for magic missile, and you can do shield anytime you want. Okay. So you'll you'll get you'll understand more when you. Okay. Play. Let me just see that again. So shield right is shoot. I'm gonna play first. You play first. I'd like to see you play it because yeah. it seems like it might be a little bit complex. So there's the mana. Okay. There's shooting. Oh, oh. I should have blocked that. Nice. Oh. They're dragons. Yeah. They remind me a little bit of ostriches. Ah. <laughs> Thou hast perished. I love so it. I did Sorry. Very terrible. <laughs> oh no! I have to get up. Here you go. Oh, you just have to press the button. So oh, to... I have to get the mana. Yeah. Oh shit! He takes stuff. So he can shoot. So he just has to get past your... Oh my god. 
There you go. Nope. Ah! Wait, what? How do you rebuild? No, oh, you, need you can't. Eight. You need eight of them to rebuild, though. Oh my god. And that's a lot. You have to block that dragon. You have to shoot every dragon now, or else they'll get past. No. Nope. How do I fortify? It's uh, down. Left for health, down for fortify. So right now, you have no fortifications. Yeah, I know. So you can't let any dragon go past. Do I have enough? How do I know if I have eight? Uh, it's a bar, so you kind of have to just... Gauge it? Yeah. Oh! No! Oh, you got him. I know. Apparently, if you run into him, that works too. Yeah, because you'll lose your health. <laughs> I think you can do it. Oh! oh. Joust ostriches. Ostrich They do fence. look like joust. Joust. Ostriches. My best back in 2015 was five points. What did you... 16. That's really yeah, good. Yeah, got 16. So if you could... I like it. Yeah. Read that out. It's got a picture of him too. In 2015. Nice. In 2015. Oh, get up. We weren't broadcasting in 2015, so I couldn't berate him for uh, not making the button on the joystick restart. Do you want me to read the spell effects? Did you say that already? Uh, I don't know. Each spell has a unique effect. Casting magic ah. shield will protect you from fire and stop it from damaging the castle. Magic missile only expends a mana point upon collision with an enemy. Oh, so you have to hit the enemy to expend it. Um, will launch a lethal blast of magic against the dragon. Health regeneration will restore any lives you may have lost in battle. Hi, cat butt. Uh, and fortification will repair any damage caused to the castle wall. Uh, Dragon Defense, released on February 14th, uh, Valentine's Day, 2015, was programmed and designed by Tyler Frisbee and his first Atari at 2600 Homebrew. In addition to being a hobbyist programmer, Tyler typically specializes in graphic and web design and has written articles which have appeared in publications such as 2600 Magazine, The Hacker Quarterly. Mm, nice. You have a subscription <laughs> to that. I do, lifetime. He has a lifetime subscription. Uh, Dragon Defense is a pretty straightforward game, but there are some ways you can improve your strategy. When possible, try to aim for the dragon's head, or preferably its body, and avoid aiming for the neck, as you are likely to miss. Interesting. Oh. Uh, while the health regeneration and fortification are helpful, try not to focus too hard on collecting a multitudinous amount of mana potions, or else you may become distracted and allow the dragon to quickly wreck the wall you are so gallantly attempting to defend. Also, I may have left a very adventurous hint Easter egg ah, somewhere okay. in the game. It. I rebuilt it. You did? Good for you. Oh, you're doing good. Oh my goodness, those guys. They are relentless. Let me know if you can find it. Good luck and thank you for playing Dragon Defense. I never find Easter eggs. <laughs> I never find them. What? I shot him and it didn't kill him. Did it hit his neck? Oh, maybe. Oh my god. This is a game of balance. Oh. Almost game over. Ah, run into him. Oh, oh you got I didn't it. mean to do that. That's good though, you needed yeah. it. <laughs> I did. starts with the new one okay good yeah because after this we'll be playing the brand new world version. debut of his new version of this game nice so this is this is version um 1. 44 0. that's good very yep. good you get the hang of it after a little bit ah very adventurous easter egg maybe, maybe the dragons turn it into adventure dragons oh that would be very cool the cycles are really messed up Inaccurate collision detection mentioned in the manual is a feature. Aim for the head, not the neck. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay, play. Hmm? 44. Not playing the new version? Oh. Don't you want to try and do better in this one? Yeah. Oh my god, that didn't take one very point. long. <laughs> 
You're running into the bullets. I too know. Much. I thought I had the magic missile going on, or not the missile, the uh, shield. Actually, I never. I didn't really use the shield in my right into it. Yeah, I didn't use the shield much actually. Oh, come oh, right on, the neck. neck. He has an armor-plated neck. Apparently. Oh. He is an ostrich. Oh. oh, that was bad. Much better the other time. One. Thanks, Arena Foot. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> vote of confidence. Record that in the permanent record, please. Tanya got one point. A whole one oh. point. She did not fail completely. She got a whole point. <laughs> Sometimes you shoot the neck and it's fine. Ah! Oh! oh Start Lord. collecting. Collecting fast. Rebuild that wall. Rebuild the wall. Rebuild the wall. <laughs> no, no, no. Please don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you can rebuild it. Ah, no! Run into is a good strategy. Build it! It is Build not! It. Down! There we go. When, when he's almost there, it is, because the game is over if he passes. Missile to this front. Oh no, it's not. It's up. It's just. It's just holding it. Just holding the. That's button. not helping me at all. Twelve. One more. One more. It's a very good game because yeah. there's a lot of balance. It's like, what are you going to use your mana for? <sighs> Can you get more than one row of walls, or is this just? It just rebuilds it completely, I think. Rebuild! Rebuild! Buttoning down! Oh, get some more lives! Get some more lives! I'm gonna die. It's okay. Button and left. Button and left. There you go. Oh. Oh! Oh, back down to one. Took a bullet and you ran into the dragon in subsequent order. Oh, now you're back. Now you're getting hang of it. Yep. Well, the egg is so old you forgot it. He can't remember where the egg is. If I remember correctly, Easter egg is if you get full mana, go to the top right of the screen and cast a spell. I think the rebuild wall spell, but I can't remember. Wow, that's... Uh... Oh, you got all the mana back. Try for the Easter egg. Oh, nice! It's fun. Um, it is fun. I feel a little flaily, like hit this, hit this. You know, yes. like a um, if if you get the hang of it and you're like, okay, It'll health slow down. and then this and slow down. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Good. Really game. good game. Yeah. So now we have the exclusive world debut. Yes. Of his new 2021 version. Excellent. Of Dragon Defense. Uh, when I when I posted uh, that we were gonna play this, he went, "Oh man, I made Dragon Defense back in high school. <laughs> I started working on a thousand percent better, updated version at the start of the year. It's to not totally finished yet. Otherwise, I'd try convincing you to play that instead. Very cool, though. I'll try to tune in, which nice. he did. But we have the updated oh, version. We do. Nice. Ready. Um. Demo. Yeah." Nice. I like a little bit of an upgrade to the colors and everything on the opening screen. 2021. Skull. Um, he says, it's cool you'll be playing my game. That said, I hope you've already checked it out and don't have high expectations. <laughs> That's the old one. It's very good. It is um, very good. It plays very well. I've since gone through college and I've been working for two years as a graphic designer, nice. which must be shocking because uh, the label art I did was terrible. <laughs> oh, I've changed the new one because mm. uh, he's done an updated label art. There you go. Mm. Uh, okay, go for it. Oh my goodness. So same, same uh, thing, except there's more enemies. You have to kill those guys at the bottom. What? As well. Okay, so I'll keep going. 
goodness. Um, Looks beautiful. Yeah. It's like a Welsh dragon. Oh. Ooh, I don't oh. know what that is. Oh, oh I like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, well, that's what led me to revisit this project. I had some free time at the beginning of the year, so I wanted to update the label no. with my improved graphic design skills. Then I thought I could easily update the title screen while I was at it. Then I thought if I could get a good dev environment on my Mac. Oh. Death. You can't touch the trees. The tree killed me. The trees are deadly. Yeah, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Yay, you can restart with fire button. Yay, Look Tyler. Look how beautiful this is. With the clouds oh and the God. sky. And the Welsh dragon, which is red, which is the Welsh color. Oh. Not Welsh, but I have the flag in the other room. I have I have Welsh uh, family members, so. Uh, oh, there you go. You can claim. Yeah. There's some Welsh. claim Welsh heritage. Not really by marriage, but that's okay. Oh, ah, the trees! The trees. <laughs> bad the trees. Trees are very bad. Oh, there you go. Get that. Nice. <gasps> I hit the tree again. <laughs> trees are not trees. Oh my goodness. Trees are ants. They evil. Ah, uh, <laughs> nice. Ants. I like no it. ostriches. Nice, no. nice. I like that uh, your defender does have like the lovely uh, wizard's hat going on there. Yes. Much improved graphics. Oh my god. Um, uh, this all snowballed into porting the game to DPC Plus to have more detail. And then at that point it decided I might as well try to work on the actual game too. Oh my god. <laughs> I still don't have any formal coding knowledge, but I experimented a lot with Batari Basic since 2015 and I'm nice. at least better. In addition to the new graphics animation, there's three new enemies. Gnomes, skeletons, and ants. Trees. They are ants. They are ants. <gasps> and, and occasionally, that occasionally fly and attack. Oh, oh you bad, bad trees. Remember to use your spells to get your lives back. You need them. Or not? No, I don't. Oh. Not uh, right now. Oh, no, they drop items. Killing the ground enemies. You have to kill that guy to get upgrades. The guy with the hat. Or those guys. Nope. Don't touch them. Ugh, apparently you can't kill them. Woo! Uh, but the ants are supposed to be the good guys. Yeah, not in this not world. Not for this dude. A heart to refill health, a wand to rebuild the wall, and a crystal ball to restore health, ammo, and the wall, I think. <laughs> I removed the mechanic of casting spells because it was confusing and awkward with the joystick controls. Oh, okay, so there's just this and fire then. Right, so there you go. Rebuild that wall. Ah, touch the trees or something. I don't know. No, oh. no, I didn't touch the trees. I just didn't get it. Nice. The dragon is really pounding the top there. Need more bullets. Oh no. So the dragon, when he dies, oh, Lord. turns into three bullets, I guess. Yeah. Oh, they, you can't kill them. You can sometimes. I think it's like a detection issue. Hmm. There are some known bugs, quirks, and weirdness uh, I eventually want to work out. Some glitches in the skeletons. Yeah, and yeah. collisions. Uh, nice. Some things with game difficulty and sound effects too, but in its current form, it's playable still better uh, than the original, even with bugs. I do plan on finishing it. Uh, I did most of this new game over a month and a half of work, and it's getting close. Mm. Unfortunately, my design career has been super busy, and my personal life has been in turmoil, so I haven't been able to focus on it. Sorry to hear but about that. Some of the code stuff has made me a little stumped, as I'm not an expert, but I'll figure it out. Uh, I would be interested to see what you or others think if you do show any of the new stuff, too. Mm. Feel free to hit me up with any questions. It looks beautiful. Uh, obviously, there's some collision issues, especially with the skeletons, because yeah. I was shooting right through them. Um, but the dragon seems to be fine, and the gnome or whatever that was yeah, at the he bottom. Seems to be fine too. He seems to be fine too, but, but the, the skeletons. skeletons do anything I think they your... no, they take your wall down. Do they? Or they were at some point. Yeah, they take oh, your wall down. A little bit. If they collide. Oh, it only goes down like in. It goes down. Do you see? Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not where the dragon shoots. It it, it's just, it, it, it always just goes, goes down, down from the top. Yeah. Ah. No, and you can't shoot twice Out very easily. Yeah. I find. Uh, 
Um, but I have to say I love um, the sky, the sky. Um, yeah, the moving clouds. Moving clouds, the color grid, uh, gradation, I guess. Yeah. See, yeah. You, oh, get the heart. Because <gasps> oh, no. the dragon made it past. Yeah. So you have to watch that. You gotta, You've got to hit. hit the skeletons like right in the skull for it to register, yeah. Um, ah. Yeah, I was having trouble. It was going through them. Don't hit the ants. So even on death, the dragon still damages the wall. Yeah. Like, like how do you prevent that? I... He constantly hits the wall. He always hits the wall. Yeah. You have so to you, kill him. So you have to get this guy. You have to get that guy and build your wall up, like always. There's mm -hmm. no way to not... Uh, I guess you could hit the dragon immediately. Mm-hmm. The dragon does the most damage. But that guy gets you. A yeah, because the dragon hits it, shoots it, and then turns into bullets that also. When you it. shoot it, yeah. No. Yeah, you have to hit them in the head, I think. Oh. It seems to be the thing. There you we have go. to hit them at a certain level. Yeah, if I got him when it was at the head. Yeah. So there's, ah. there's no. Oh, they oh get... get it, get it. Oh. They get turned into wands too, so mm -hmm. it's, you might as, it's a really good idea to get them. Mm -hmm. Ah, out of bow. I like it. There's a lot going on. There is. I haven't had trees attack me yet. Maybe I haven't been doing as well. Does the sky change color? Oh mm -hmm. my god. Seems like the sky change color. Render ghost dragon. Next skeleton, head tree, prey. <laughs> oh, I got a crystal which restored my health mm. and the wall. Mm. Ah, I can't get any. Can't get up there. Dragon keeps going down low. Well balanced so far. I wonder mm. if I just stayed down here and constantly shot the guy down here. If you could, if keep I could it up. just no, because look how much damage the the dragons do. I don't think you could. Really? Oh, I don't know. You're gonna try? Yep. All right. Because that guy comes pretty often. Same with the skulls. Oh no, I have to collect. Um, I have to go collect things too. Yeah, I'm not going to touch the mana. dragon. So I collect things while I'm waiting for the guy, and shoot the guy. Yeah, but you haven't got no wall defense. He's going to go right through. True. Well, we'll see. Uh, go ahead. Oh, there you go. Maybe, maybe. Because then it needs to be rebalanced. Mm -hmm. So I just can ignore the dragon. <laughs> That's destroying my my city. And just use magic. Oop. No, you didn't get him. No. You did though. <laughs> that dragon was going for the, uh, going for the go. hole in the wall. Yeah. What did they say? James always finds a way to cheese games with wizards. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's right. Wizards are powerful. Don't yeah, underestimate them. Oh, another one. Time to rebuild the wall with magic. Yep. <laughs> and my health. Yeah, I think you need to cut down the number of dudes coming across the bottom of the screen. I don't have to touch the dragon almost ever. Because so you get enough um, yeah, upgrades enough to build the wall. Yeah. <laughs> James found the Easter eggs. Stay at the bottom and shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Full health. Avoid that nasty dragon. Because then it also gives you time to build up all the, all the magic, too. While you're not fighting the... Uh, 
the True. dragon. Give you tons of time. Yeah, I think you've figured out the... I think you're right. I think the guy at the bottom has to come less frequently. Oops. Oh, and then don't run into things generally. Looks like you. It looks like you could possibly play forever uh, maybe. that way. Yeah. Um. Sometimes it got a little low, and I had to kill a dragon once mm. or twice. But. Mm -hmm. Very very nice. Uh, it needs a bit of rebalancing. Rebalancing, but I think just in that guy, just cut him down to about half. Yeah. Or even less. Maybe half, because you still need. You have to build up the wall. Yeah. It constantly goes down. Yeah. Unless you're on that dragon immediately. Yeah. yeah. Great graphics. Lots of fun gameplay. Um, maybe make it more like Rampart Tetris. Pick up blocks and repairs hole in the walls instead. <gasps> Ooh, that's kind of cool. But that's really a reimagining of this game, though. I think so. That would so. take a lot yeah. of... Yeah. Yeah. That would take a lot more reprogramming of what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Because um, there's... Uh, that kind of puts it into oink territory as well. In oink territory? <laughs> yes. Oh, oink is a game where you build a wall. Oh, I You're see. A pig, you build it back up. Yeah. And there's a, a wolf blasting through your wall, and you have to put the... The uh, wand restoring everything is too powerful. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's it. Maybe only half comes back. Or certain, yeah, certain amount. If it was half, then you would still, you you really couldn't keep going without killing yeah. the dragon. That's a e probably an easier e way an to balance easier it. An easier way to balance it, yeah. Because you just keep cutting it down, the um, the number of them. Yeah. Until it's it's feels right. Yeah. 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 Oink oink, my good man. Uh, yeah, I wanted to look more into the item drop rates different too. Yeah. yeah. So that could be super rare. Yeah. Yeah. So it could be more health, and less of rebuilding the wall. Um, that's the other option too is you keep everything the same but you get more health build was, more health back rather than building the wall mm, I had lots of health yeah but, but if you're dodging a, the dragons I you would have less yeah, so more true. health less less building the wall yeah. might actually work yeah that could be super rare yeah yeah, yeah that makes sense yeah so, it was well, very cool and I love the background and the colors and the and the what do you call that the sunset, the skyline, yeah, all the... It's gorgeous. It looks beautiful. Yeah. And even the first one played really well. I was thinking that too, Arena Foot. It does look like a Muddy Funster type game. He likes yeah, the, gradi the colors. gradated background yes. and the things in the sky. It's and, really nice. Yeah, yeah. Really, really nice. Um, it's great games today. So much fun. Yeah. Uh, we played Kiloparsec. Yes. Which was very challenging on hard. Mm. Still challenging on easy. Um, but you can make it fairly far. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, easier for sure. Yeah, yeah. Really great game for 8K <laughs> on a, a 7800. That's for sure. Mm. Um, well, thank you for uh, sending it over and and, and, and joining us to... and and joining us during yeah. the gameplay too. It's always cool to see the person who developed the game to yeah. come and make sure you follow chat. us. We broadcast twice a week. Yes. Yeah, if you want to see more homebrew 2600 games yep. and 7800, that's mm -hmm. what we play. Um, and we played Cosmic, what is that? I can't read it. Cosmic Cavern, was it? Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. It's covering it up. Uh, what? Cosmic Person? Canyon. Cosmic Canyon, yes. There we, there we go. go. Thank you. Thank you for following. <laughs> um, Cosmic Canyon, which was, uh, challenging. Yes. But it was a simple game. It's a 2K game. Yes, you know, people yes, try yes. and pack as much into a 2K game. Mm -hmm. Really good for a 2K game. Great mm -hmm. graphics, hard gameplay. That's for sure. Flappy Bird. Type yeah, game. you can you can get a feel for it though. You yeah. get better as you go. So yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, words game. Did, did anybody see my cartridge cover that I made for it? Are you gonna flip it back? Yes. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that great fridge magnet words game thing there. I spent a lot of time on that. <laughs> I, had to cut I actually think each, that's pretty awesome. Each individual letter. <laughs> that's a very 70s, it's it's a very 70s fridge with yeah. a very 70s toy yes. for kids. Yes, you know? it's, it's what what would you call that color? Avocado. It's got an avocado oh, it, it had paint. a name. I can't remember what it was. There really? Was Harvest name. Yellow? Yes, it was Harvest something like yellow. that. Harvest Yellow. Harvest Yellow. I think colored porcelain and colored appliances need to come back. I think I think everything new, old is new again. Nope. Uh, we need powder pink. Um, Shiny metal black. 
That's all looks except shiny need, metal or black. We need dusty rose um, porcelain in bathrooms, as well as that horrible, like, greeny... Um, avocado? No, not avocado. Um, like the Mitchell and Webb sketch? Oh, where they're supposed to called? react terribly to avocado? That minty color. Um, oh, I don't know. It's not called mint, though. Sea foam. Sea foam green. Um, and, uh, that was usually and applied in to kitchens. dresses for yeah. graduation. Sea foam, but my, I, I distinctively remember my Thank granddad, uh, who lived in London, had like this sea foam green porcelain in the bathroom. It was like a, a greeny, greeny, mm. like tealy kind of color. Anyway, yeah. I, di I digress. Um, sea foam, yes, sea foam green. And then we played the two dragon defenses, which were super awesome. fun. Awesome, awesome. I like resource management games. Where they're at a simple level. Yeah. You love resource management. I games love as well. resource management games. <laughs> like what's what's the one you constantly go back to? I used to play you this still play game. It? No, the one you play on your laptop once in a while. Not too much anymore. Oh, oh, civilization. Civilization. Um, it's a resource management game. It is, but also there it's like was Sim City, Do you remember the soup game on P on the PS4? Oh, yeah, which yeah. actually like you can't even play anymore. Space and it was a free or something. It was a free download with the, the PS um, We can't play it. Because we canceled our PS. We canceled, yeah, whatever that that subscription was. So we're on Switch. But yeah. it was a soup game where you mine resources and plants, and then you make soup and you send it off into space. And I loved it. I played it to the bitter the end. I don't know why they're talking about the Dreamcast. Avocado colored furniture. Yeah, Art Deco. Are you talking about the color of this? <laughs> <laughs> well, it does turn into kind of a harvest yellow after Dreamcast a while. Dreamcast console for the Jetsons. Yeah. I love the Dreamcast. It's so cool. The square console. Oh, yeah. I love it. Anyway. Um, anyway, Roller I have no idea why you're talking about Dreamcast. <laughs> um, um, yeah, Dragon Defense. Super awesome. Both versions are really good. I like the spell casting directions, and it's just the dragon. Yes. And I love, like, the new one, too, where I think it's multiple they both, they're both good. enemies. It, they're, the they're, gameplay's they're a little different, but they're both good. Similar, but different. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that Dreamcast cool. needs a DG, DG, DC Digital installed into it. I I plan on doing that. Um, yeah, you saw inside where there's actually a laser. People re um, replace the laser inside mm -hmm. with a card reader so that you can play all the games. It's kind oh. of like um, a Harmony cart, but you build it into it. So you Why? can. Because. But lasers the, because are these so were much discs. cooler. Because these were discs lasers and it's a pain so in the ass. Discs suck. I don't like disc-based systems. I like cartridge-based systems. I do like cartridge-based systems. I agree. But oh, so. oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, uh, Ooh, we've been playing on this, this a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is the Ardu Boy, Ardu Boy FX. Um, and if we didn't show you, um, if you didn't see it last week, we got this in the mail, finally after like what seemed like two years. Um, and we've played it quite a bit now. And it is super, super cool. It's got simple games. It's like 128 by 48 mm -hmm. pixels. Um, it's got a tiny little speaker in it. It's got lots of fun games. Uh, no, we didn't assemble it. It mm. came, came like this. You can get them. You can assemble them. Oh, yourself. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have time for that. <laughs> um, the only complaint I have is the directional buttons. It's not a D-pad. Mm -hmm. It's individual direction buttons which kind of messes you up in some games. But if you put your thumb in the middle, it kind of acts as a D-pad. Um, so what do you think of it? I love it. Yeah, I think it's great. She's been playing it more than me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's lots of little puzzle games on there. Been, and been, it's just black and white screen. She's been wasting the resources that this, the power that this has and been playing 2048. I love 2048. <laughs> It's such a nice, calming game. Oh, Tink X5, yes. I'm waiting for them to come out again. Yeah, it is hard on the eyes. I could, I this take one? my glasses off. It and can be, yeah. Put it up really close. It depends on the game, too. Anything, yeah. you don't want to, that's why 2048 is great, because you don't want anything too... Open source Game Boy Player. It's yeah. pretty much, that's what it is. And you, and you have infinite free games. Look how it. thin that is. Look at that. Yeah, it is like it's credit so cool. card size. You literally business could shove it, shove cards. it in your wallet, yeah. and pull it out when you're on, you know, taking the ferry or on the bus. I like, would it's want a, so cute. I would want a case for it though. No. This one is aluminum backing. That's you that's why. You don't need a case. It's it's solid. Yeah, it's pretty solid. I would, I'd be scared. I'd want some other. You wouldn't want it to get case. scratched. Yeah, up. scratched screen. Yeah. Yeah. 
interesting. Anyway, it's awesome if you're interested in it's simple cool. handheld How games. How much was it? Do you... Too much. <laughs> it wasn't super cheap because this is the assembled one. Yeah. It has the 200 games built into it. Um, it's got the aluminum back on it. Mm -hmm. It's just the cool version, so I don't know. Yeah. You don't uh, you don't have to get this one. Fairy. They still have fairies in daily use? Yes, they do. If you happen to be in New York, you would be you New potentially York, are taking the ferry. New Jersey. Um Darcy takes the ferry because he lives on an island and There's he a, takes a ferry over to Vancouver all the time. So we have an island next to our province. Yeah. It's a massive island. Yeah, it's huge. It's called Vancouver Island. Yeah. And very unique. You island. can see it on a world map. <laughs> Yeah, you it's can. It's that big. Yeah. It's not Japan size, but it's it's, it's a big it's, it's big, a big island. So for not being a country. So actually. people take that ferry back and forth a lot. Yeah. yeah. Seattle as well. Yeah, there there are ferries to Seattle and the islands around Seattle. Yeah. Um, Lots of ferries here. Yeah. yeah. Anywhere that has an island or or larger, like and yeah, the Victoria is is the capital of BC, and that's on on Vancouver yeah. Island. So yeah, we do have a lot of ferries. We do. Um, oh, what is? What what's going on? Like, where's the Where's the subscribers? Why did that disappear all of a sudden? That's weird. It was on earlier. I don't know. Why does it do this? Oh, crossbow. Well, every lake in my stake is man-made, so we only have rivers. <laughs> yeah, no, some places still use ferries a fair amount. And our ferries all f are all shuttle uh, cars, too, so they're pretty big. Why does it do this? It did this. It was doing this last episode, too. Oh, yeah? It was like... I'm just going to get There's rid of There's something wrong with those apps that you have embedded that they just go crazy. Yeah, that's back. That's weird. I just play with it a bit and it's back. I don't know. I hate it. Last time it was the chat that was There's misbehaving. always something. <laughs> something is misbehaving. So uh, that's it for us today. But um, somebody needs to fix the brakes. Uh, we will be back on a lot of sirens too. Friday. Yeah or earlier one second but i we have some things go, coming up darcy's actually going to be back on friday yes that's his regular friday right yeah, yeah. last one was non-regular but i wanted him back for the show back yeah so this friday is the noon next friday is going to be six then noon then six so and fl flipping back and forth yeah. yeah uh there are sirens outside too yeah uh, Ooh, ouch. so I have Pac-Man Eat and Run queued up and Katamari as well. We may Katamari. do an After Dark instead. Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, Katamari. Depends yeah. what games pop up. Yeah. Really. If there's a, a new game that I want to play, uh, maybe we'll just a do a normal play? show. Okay. Or if there's nothing that really pops up, we'll do some long plays. Mm. Yeah. Code 182. We probably have different codes in Canada. Nope, Darcy in house. Uh oh, in house. Yep. Uh, he's finally coming back and forth now. So. Yep. And uh, you still have your band aid on. I do. Yep. Loot. Look at this. Second shot. I have felt like crap all day. Thank you very much. Yep. Uh, shot number two. You haven't been I'm so fine. bad. No, totally I, fine. I I didn't want to get off the couch. Yay, normal. Yay, normal. See. Yeah. <laughs> so and that's and that's why we can have Darcy back. Yeah. Everybody's getting their shots. Here. Yes. Things mm. are opening up. We've been to the Ooh. theater Ooh. twice. Yeah gone to see movies twice twice awesome. movies yeah. twice so awesome yeah. yeah it's not being locked down forever mm -hmm. <laughs> and ever and ever yeah to trick us and into... eventually someone will let us across the border and we'll be able to go down to some of these shows whenever they to, come back so go down to concerts Portland. and portland retro gaming expo and yeah. other expos yeah maybe 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 in texas or somewhere, somewhere else east coast yeah. others in the west coast i mean portland's the big one Portland's the one we really want to go to. That so. one's kind of balanced. It has arcade games. It has talks. It has like the World has, Series of Tetris. It has World Series of Tetris. It has, it has uh, a sales. little bit of everything. Yes. It has yeah. booths. You can buy stuff. It has contests you can participate in. It's yeah. got it's got everything. The other ones seem to be like this one's about pinball. This one's about arcade games only. Yeah. We have no vendors or we just have vendors, but like five arcade games. Mm. So it's like, no, PRG is the one. Mm -hmm. Luckily, it's within six hours driving distance of us. So lucky. Uh, we saw... Um, Nomadland. Nomadland, which was the award winner for Best Director yep. and maybe other Christine, things. Christine Zhao, I think was her yep. name. Christine. It's a slow burn, so if you don't... If you, if don't, you don't like slow-paced films, you probably don't away. like it. 
And, if you're all about um, superheroes, run away. Uh, it's it's a little you know sad, kind of bittersweet in places, but it's a beautiful film. It's a slice of life kind of film. And um, I love uh, Frances McDormand in anything oh, she's, she's in. She's so, amazing. So if you don't like her, you won't like this film because it's all her. <laughs> yeah. um, but all about essentially people who become nomads in their retirement is kind of how yeah. I would describe it. Um, Excellent. In terms Excellent of film. borders, we can now fly soon. Very soon. Without being quarantined. Yes, because if you have both vaccines... We still have to get tests, but we don't have to get quarantined. But the border is not open for driving yet, yeah. so that's when it really opens. Opens up. I yeah. would assume not until September, to be honest. Yeah. When when we fully open. When we fully open, yeah. Because we're on stage two, and there's four stages. The next stage is soon, July 1st. July 1st, Something. we hit our next stage, and I think the final stage Sept is in September, but September. that's provincial. I think yeah. for Canada, I think September is when things will really come back to and normal. border's going to be a big federal thing. thing. A big a federal not, thing. It's not going to be yeah. a provincial thing. So we'll see. The Albertans will just come over here and go through the No, border. no Albertans. They're, they've, been, <laughs> they've been making everyone sick. So. I miss... No, I, I, I joke, though. They're, they're yeah. fine now. But they're fine. They had, a, they had a rough batch for a while. So. I miss the event I used to host. We used to have uh, 20 to 30 arcade cabinets, along with vendors and ex exhibitors, about 50-50 mix. Yeah, it's a nice... Mm -hmm. To have a nice balance of stuff. So mm -hmm. We're looking forward to everything going back to normal, and it's slowly, slowly, slowly coming back to normal. Yeah, mm -hmm. Frances McDormand is... She's a brilliant actress, yeah. really. Who is she married to? Famous director. No, don't know. I want to look can't it up remember. now. I can't remember anyway, off the top of my head. A very famous director. Uh, we'll be um, playing uh, Zookeeper and Doggone It on the 6th as part of the Harmony Games, the last round of the Harmony Games. Mm -hmm. IMDb for the win. Yeah. Yes. You can look it up pretty fast. And but she uh, is... beyond that, we don't have anything scheduled. Um, but I'll probably start filling in those after dark episodes so I know what long Kind plays. of what you might be m what, planning. So I can kind of just bump them as I need to and fill them mm -hmm. in. Oh, but we might do an after dark this week. Things are slow. Random after dark. <laughs> unscheduled. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that is it for us. Fourth of hours. July show special. We'll see. We'll see. Why would we do Fourth of July? Oh, all we can just focus <laughs> on all the American homebrew uh, developers. That's there you right. go. Yeah. We're not American. We do it on July first. <laughs> Canada. And continue Day. to July fourth. Yeah. Four day. Four days. Marathon. It's a four day North American uh, yeah. marathon. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, we did that one year. We played like seventeen seventy six or something on July fourth. Oh, did we? Yeah. There was some American themed <laughs> ones. Nice. Nobody played Zookeeper yet at Harmony Games. Dog got a few scores already. Maybe people nice. are waiting like me. Yeah. Or they're waiting for something to beat. Oh, yes, there we go. Um, Ty Frisbee has posted uh, his new game, nice. Dragon Defense, in the forum. So mm -hmm. go and download it, and I will link that in my list mm -hmm. after the show. Excellent. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, thanks for chatting. So many yeah, people chatting. Yeah, lots of people chatting. Lovely. It's lovely. Mike Soul, Olaf, Olaf Lopez, Charles Reese, Ty Frisbee. Thanks for letting us yes. debut your yes, game. Yes, yes, yes. Arena Foot. Glad you can make it today. The schedule's a bit all over the place. So. Uh, Dan AVC, Charles Reese, Crossbow, uh, Vitoko, Coco, yeah. Azure 6502, Captain Classic. Uh, SD61N in A. Mm. Yes. That's a lot of letters. <laughs> um, uh, first time chat. Nice. Thank you for joining us. Yes, very um, much. Metalunar. I think I've said that before. Who else? Uh, Carl G. I Carl think he's G. left, but yeah. Uh, scrolling through the names. Nostalgic. And that's the top RC70. RC yeah. And everybody else, there is a cat. He's just off screen. Let Should me... I grab him? Uh, yeah, grab the kitty. No. Oh, he he's, didn't. Like, he's like, you're going to pick me up. He's like, Why? I'm hot. Oh, I'm hot. Oh, thank you, oh, Olaf. Oh, I'm hot. Oh. Thank you, Olaf. Oh. Glad you enjoy. Don't Make sure touch you follow me. us. Here he is. If you're not already following. Here's the kitty. Here's Can you tell if somebody's Atari. following? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't if know. If we go over them. Oh, oh, he hates this. Oh. Following. Since Yay. May 18th. Oh, a new follower. Thank okay. you for following. We can spy on people. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Let's see. Dan ABC. Oh, don't. Oh. Following since 2018. Nice. 
January 2018. How is that even possible? Nice. Following. Following. We started in 2018. He's March. been following since we started. Wow. Nice. You gotta explain that. <laughs> <laughs> I must have created the channel and announced it. But not actually started streaming. And not started actually started streaming. streaming. Yeah. And, wow. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I yeah. knew he was a long time follower. Oh, he's back. Atari's back. Oh, it's on the cat he gets, cam. He gets upset and then goes, well, you guys are in here, so I'll come back. And I did fix the cat cam. So, oh, oh he's paused just oh, barely Oh, he's just in. off screen. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. No. 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 Get on screen. Get on screen. <laughs> he's like so mad. I'm camera shy. Yeah. Oh. Atari. Tail. Atari. Tail's no, mad. he's like, no, no. No, see my you butt. You can't make me do anything. No. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic wind down stuff. Uh, oh my god. Well, uh, I think we should stop. Are you hot? I'm very hot. It's very warm. You started March. Yeah, March 2018. <laughs> That's why I'm like, what the hell? Dan's following since January 2018. At least most of your label on your... Eh, it keeps oh no, off. is it peeling off? I have to keep pressing it. I have to, oh, no. I have to uh, spray it some more. Get, get a better adhesive. Yeah. That's a good adhesive. Okay, anyway. Bye. Uh, we'll see you uh, next uh, time on uh, Zero Page Homebrew on Excellent. Friday noon with Darcy. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye.